<laughs> yo, that's what women don't understand about cheating, yo. It don't be us. Oh, man. Like, it be the barbers. <laughs> Yeah, the barber gets you right. Yo, you if, the like barber is possible, if the barber gets too crazy with your beard and your cut and your... <laughs> like, you oh, and it's sunny out. Like, oh, shit. Don't, nah. don't hit the car wash. I, oh, my God. Oh. How, do you not, how do you not cheat under these circumstances? Then the algorithm's just showing you everywhere. The side of the phone says she's one mile away. Like, shit. Oh. <laughs> they start going crazy. Oh, man. Oh, man. How much re restraint do they want us to have? Yeah, this guy is so stupid, yo. Anyway. Oh, man. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Good. Good. How are you? Phone's at, man. Yeah, you right there. Everybody good? Yes, hey, sir. Feeling good out there? <laughs> feeling great. Hold up, man. Mike, 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 Mike. I mean, the fuck? You know what I mean? <laughs> What's up? Oh, man. No, no, we're here. I'm just letting y'all know we're here. No, we're here. We're here. We're oh, here. Man. We are here. It's yeah. a little down and out the last pod. Got a pod through it, right? That's right. True but indeed. know what I realized? What you realized? <laughs> I'm so slow. I'm so, I am so slow to the party, yo. I think people like when I'm hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you just getting that? Yes, fam. They no like when way. you was hurt as a rapper. No, but that's different. No, it's and not. I wanna, no, it is. It's different. It is. And I want to be able to compartmentalize. It that's is. not it's fair. Different. That is totally, it's, it's totally different. It's not I'm different. talking about, I'm not talking about people that get a good song from when you go through yeah. duress. I understand that that's self-serving. A lot of this shit is self-serving, but I get that. I understand. I get that selfishness as a music lover. Uh -huh. I do it. Okay. We all do. He said about Mary. You fucking right. Keisha Cole, I can go down a list. Lil yeah. Mo. <laughs> the bunch of niggas on that list, too. Lucky Day is coming. You niggas better watch out. He is coming. But anyway, pause. Yeah. Pause. Lucky Day. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, but what am I saying? You oh, so they like to Yeah, say music much. lover, I got that part. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about people as humans. <laughs> Like getting some type of hormonal satisfaction. Now they do. They do. Yeah, mm -hmm. not hormonal, of course, you don't understand. But no. gratification. Why do you think that is? I don't know. Ask them weird niggas. <laughs> I don't do no shit I'm like that. I, I say it's the same, bro. The it's closest I do to shit. that is going back to see like somebody you cheated with like 11 years ago to see how they do in a day and you just be happy that they trashed and fell off. <laughs> That's the closest thing I do to that. Yes, oh, yes. yeah, glad she didn't glow up after I left. <laughs> um, that would be that would be a killer to deal with. <laughs> what well, I mean, if we get to it today. I still think but, that's different, though. Nah, man. I mean, I think it's when I say I didn't know it's that the people, same shit. They I didn't know you... people was getting satisfaction or, or gratification I, I out think, of. I get both. I think I out of my out. real life hurt. Yes. No, because, because... I heard niggas say, yo, Joe said he was hurt. But nah, <laughs> wait, wait, oh shit. You know well, why? I, let me tell you why. I've been to enough sessions that's dismissive. You can't say that. Yes, they can. Yeah, fam, because they yo, want you niggas. to come up here and express yo, exactly and get enjoyment. They want it. you to come up here and be emotional. He's right. Off the rails. That's what their enjoyment is. He's right. Fuck what you fuck what you dealing with. Yo, y'all are right, but I think I'm still saying something different. No, <laughs> y'all are right. But I get your other point. Y'all are right. I think there's your other point. When you are going through it, yeah, they be like, uh huh. Yes, <laughs> I think they I'm do. talking about that. Okay, so you I'm mean talking, not wait, even wait, getting hold no on. product yeah. from it? You oh know, yeah, just, no, just yeah, no product through it. You're not getting no product from it. Oh, you just happy okay. that somebody that me specifically is going through it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you hurt. And I think on the other side of that, and I've heard women express this to me, and I learn a lot from women. I think on the other side of that is when someone comes off so hardened, right? Mm, yeah. When yeah. someone, when your perception of someone is so... Uh, Tough guy, can handle it. Yeah, you don't... Shit. Which is interesting being that I'm probably the most vulnerable rapper to exist ever. Up there. So it's nuanced. Because you as have... A, but as a podcaster, you're not. No. I don't know about that. I don't, I don't know about that. See, I, that's what I'm saying. I don't see too many other you're podcasters crying on air. Exactly. <laughs> no, but your persona. I ain't as seen a not one of them cry, cry on air, multiple no. times, 
over another nigga's publishing. <laughs> but your your persona That's as, the guy that's stealing And that's the nigga that That's what they were saying Basically on Twitter all week uh. Nah nigga You body everybody else Let us see you Getting body Like yo Nah nigga You you give it up For everybody else I wanna see one of your rants For these niggas See but this is not a body to me like, I'm not That's just silly they, they, they think that you're hard And like How you yell And you yeah. scream And you do yeah. all of that yeah, That yeah, is yeah, the yeah. perception Yeah Yeah that's You get what I'm saying yeah. Like that's the perception so, For them it's probably we, I like to see him humanized. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Maybe he's too confident. Maybe that's he's a, that, too assertive. That, that, Maybe he's is. too it's loud. The, it's the confidence. Yeah. It's the confidence. He's too cocky. The arrogance. What has he done? The narcissistic, yeah. all that shit. That yeah, you play all, all of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That is definitely it. But to Ice's point, it's both. Because we get enjoyment out of, out of celebrities going Misery. through being yeah, fucked yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga, so we, we talk about Summer Walker album. She says she can't do some of the records because of the space it put her in, but everybody loves those records. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, we want you fucked up. No matter what your product is, whether you're a singer, rapper, or podcaster, when you are personally dealing with some shit and you put it on wax or on the mic or whatever, they love it. They want to see you dealing through dealing with it. I agree. You know what I love? I hate to get mushy. <laughs> but I love when you can... Trust someone enough. Like, I saw the fans kicking y'all ass. They was kicking y'all ass. I told you that one before we even walked out the door. That was going to happen. I was... Yeah, but that's cool. Nah, I, think well, it I was, knew it. I think it was 70-30. Nah, maybe not in your, Listen, maybe not in your mentions. Matters yeah. none. My point is, I was so glad y'all did that. You know, you sit in and you pod and shit be happening in real time. Uh-huh. So you learn shit in real time and you start going through shit in real time. And... I don't ever think you should respond to something in real time if you respond at all. Never. Go sit down, think. Sit with yourself. Silence is golden. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with that. So, but what I loved is, I loved that, though I totally disagreed with y'all in that moment, I know you two niggas love me. So, I'll just listen. And you did. That's what I love. When your head space is free of thinking about what somebody's agenda is in this moment. What somebody could be looking for in this moment. What somebody's jaded opinion or perception. Maybe they tell them, maybe they projecting. Maybe they telling me some shit from their experiences. Maybe they not mm-hmm. really considering me in this moment. When it's void of that. Valuable and fucking round of applause. I appreciated that shit. And I'll give him a little something before I start the pod. I'll give him a little something. Sign off on that. That's what I give him. What you mean? Whatever your sentiment is, you want out of some shit, you want nothing to do with some shit, tell your lawyer, sign off on it, send it over. That's what I got. Okay. Oh, come on. Hey. Come on, you're not even real if you're not spelling right now. That's crazy. <laughs> Yo, cut the pod off if you wasn't spelling. Yo, Alex, what you was doing just now? You were spelling? All right. You wasn't spelling. All right. Hey. All right. Jesus, man. I'm glad I was there for that. Well, not really. I was in rehab when I came out. <laughs> 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 yep. That song right there is what made me say, you know what? I'm running away tonight. <laughs> yo, wait. I'm are, out of here. Are you, are you hearing this song? Are you, what was it? <laughs> yo, Ish, don't do that, yo. I hate when you do that, yo. Can me and you have a good pod today, yo? Nah, of please, course, of course, please. of course. What happened? Now nah, I was asking, what about that made you want to run away? To go get some more money and get more oh, problems? Shit. <laughs> what the fuck did you talk about? Damn, this ties right into our $500 start a business conversation, <laughs> but fuck it, I'll give it to you. In the rehab, shout out to the rehab. <laughs> <laughs> I would shout them out, but I don't know who over there still, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go just take a trip up there one day. But anyway, on Saturdays, they made us wash cars. Outside, hand wash, towels. For free? Right by fucking Lions Ave by Prince Street. 
<laughs> I'm running away. No, yo, wait a second, yo. I just want to give you the energy in the summertime. In the summertime, <laughs> we was by Prince Street watching cars. <laughs> Now I'm from Jersey City. In wait, you talking about, about Prince Street in North? Yes. Yeah, nigga. I'm How many other sure Prince Street and Lions I'm, Avenues you know? The Prince one. Lions don't cross. Uh, they don't, but... They, they, you, know they, 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 That's why I, you know what the fuck is going <laughs> on. It ain't too far. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 uh, go ahead. I'm listening. I'm but listening. anyway, yeah. So we was washing cars, and them <laughs> niggas must have been getting money because it was nice cars coming through and shit. And I, yeah, niggas was getting money. Tops was dropped. Ton of money. <laughs> Jewelry was on. The niggas was playing this shit. And my goofy little 17-year-old ass is getting a, a towel to dry some shit off with the rest of these fucking, with us, derelicts. <laughs> niggas is like getting a, a car wash and then pulling off to go have fun. And me and you talking, like, yeah, pass me a towel. Throwing a towel. Now, it's yeah. another car. It's another car coming right now. You get that one. I got back in the inside. Like, well, what do you want out of life, yo? Look, look, look. Like, wave your rollies in the table. What the <laughs> fuck is, yo? <laughs> yeah. Yo, these niggas was flagrant. Facts. Nigga, you missed a spot on my rims? <laughs> Gold BBSs. <laughs> nice. Gold BBSs back then. TVs, mm-hmm. all that shit these niggas talking about? Yeah, no, I'm not going to keep watching this. <laughs> no. I'm leaving. I'm, I'm back in a bag tonight or Monday, one of these days, and I'm getting the fuck out of here. I'm walking to Jer- back to Jersey City. Oh, that's funny. Mom going to Did you leave? You fucking right. I left. I'm out of there, buddy. That's so he was inspired. Man, that's good. Jersey City found the little weed dust spot. Found all the little spots. Oh, Here we oh, up now. Me. Leave me alone, dog. Watch, watch this. I got shit to do. More problem. You can keep this Lincoln High School shit. <laughs> Funny, the other day on YouTube, I'm watching one of the little gang war gang war stories, and my face popped up. I said, holy shit, Come cut on. it off. <laughs> Fuck, yo, cut this shit off. Yeah, I ain't talking about it. Yeah, Get that yeah, shit out of here. Um, but yeah, you know, it's there. It's, it's on YouTube. But anyway, everything's on YouTube. It's fine. Uh, welcome to episode 514 of the Joe Button Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored or lowly favored host, depending on who you talk to and when. Host Joe Button here with a few of my nearest and dearest. Parks is here. Ish is here. Ice is here. Corey's here. Young boys in the back. Y'all good? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. How's everybody doing? Fantastic. Same as usual. I don't know how you usually yeah, are. You know, black men don't share. Yeah, yeah. sharing. That's what he said. You so you're doing great. <laughs> Parks is great. I'm feeling really good. Ice bro. is great. I'm good. Corey don't believe in God. What's going on with y'all? <laughs> y'all good. Everybody's good. All right, let's get right into it. What we starting with? Oh, yeah, Rick Ross. <laughs> <laughs> We're not starting with this, but we could do it. Jim Jones and uh, our dude uh, Rashad and these niggas. <laughs> Earn your leisure, our guys. They was having a conversation, and Rick Ross responded underneath with businesses that you could start for $500. Mm. And Rick Ross said a car wash, dinner plates out the kitchen, or a lawn service. $150 mower. I'm with him. $100 edger. I'm with him. You could do that. Mm-hmm. You definitely you could. could do the, the landscaping shit on a small scale. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah you just could do start. the landscaping shit as a start. I'm with him on dinner plates. Yeah, you could do that. I'm with him on a car wash. Yeah, you could do the car wash. Well. Well, tell me tell me where you set up at so I can drive by and see, see, no, how, no, 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 see no. how it goes. Nigga, set up nowhere. Mobile, nigga. I come to you. It's mobile car wash, full detailing sets. That nigga got a van. But I'm just and saying, that the, van, it, 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 yeah, that, damn, that van ain't five hundred dollars. We all done gave the fiend some money to clean the car off, and he did a damn good job no, for five dollars. They the best. No, like, I we didn't. not. <laughs> that was the windshield. You washed the car. You that was the windshield that they oh, cleaned you, for me. Okay, you're bugging. You, you see, you're the state that you, they I had didn't, y'all. I'm, listen, yeah, that's what he was watching. <laughs> no, the y'all was over the y'all. They had y'all on Prince Street. Fucked up. Wait, who said that? Yo, don't do that to Joe. No, somebody getting fired. Who said that? Who just said that? <laughs> somebody get fired on air again. That was the issue. <laughs> Fuck one of y'all. <laughs> y'all gave a fiend money to wash your whole car the before? The best Nigga, of the best. Yes. What? Yo, yo, I don't Unbeatable. even want to know where he got the water from. Keep it a bubble. <laughs> Tell he me just showed up with a bucket. You eat off the rims. 
fuck the, fuck no, the carpet. No, no. Word Bruh, is born. Cleaner than you've ever. Yo. Yes. All right. It sounds like you got a trusted fiend that did this. They're the. They won't steal nothing. Your money be in the. I'm lying, dog. Your money no, be in the dark fucking no. thing. Them I, niggas get busy. Yes, they do. They be mad if they can't get some shit out. <laughs> Yo, you, yeah, bro. <laughs> you that, he right. Yo, what hood you from? Church is it? And they was up there too. Nigga, I was in an apartment building. The day was we up there. It wasn't even parking spaces. What are you talking about? Man, nigga, them fiends. Y'all know, know nigga. Busy, dog. Y'all in Newark had driveways and all of that shit. Yeah, nigga, you can do that shit at the barbershop. Yeah, you, you he, he, he walk in with the bucket. Yes. Yo, who need that shit? Yo, I'm right Yo, niggas there, was dog. getting stuck up and beat up and robbed at the barbershop. Who had time to watch cars? Nope, too. So? Me, if you ain't really had that issue, you ain't had that issue, but Yeah, exactly. What? Now, the fiend definitely the watched the car. I the best. You, dog. All right, you learned me. Yeah, you learned best. me. I'm not saying it don't happen. I'm saying I never did it. Don't try to outcast so, me. So I'm, so I'm a rock. So with, yeah, I'm, I'm rocking. I'm, I'm a that. rock with Rick. Yeah, no, Carl no, Walsh. I'm still here. I'm still here. We talking I'm small scale. You could still start. What other, the what other ideas that he had? If one of y'all start a car wash for five hundred dollars, <laughs> tell me. <laughs> Don't try to fucking serious out my joke. Yo, no, that's funny. I want to drive by Don't and see. Go get some it. turtle wax for it. You know what I mean? <laughs> they have all that shit too. Everything right on the bucket, bro. Yeah. The niggas. Yo, I, used I to, still be wait, wondering where you got the water was, from. Oh, we had a part today. Hey, I used to make them turtle turtle wax niggas so mad <laughs> when I pulled up to the gas station. They was out there. You pull up. Uh-huh. There's a dude out there. It's turtle wax. That shit really works. So you buy one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But they they there every day. And it ain't the same kids. So you buy one. You buy two. You, you know they can do it. Buy one, get one free. Yeah, so you yeah. got your turtle wax. You ain't just everyday turtle waxing your shit. So now every day you pull up to the uh, gas station, it's a different crew of kids with a pitch. You done heard the pitch. Now you're like, hey, get out of here, man. I got it already. And now that's every day moving forward. I hate that I had to explain that just now, but... Yeah, they used I, to hate me. I still don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I ain't never. I know you talking about. That's some Jersey Boy, City yeah, shit. That, that ain't happening. No, they, they ain't had a turtle wax to sell. Oh, no, they no. were trying to wash your car with. What are you talking about? Yeah, I'm moving on, yo. That's not <laughs> buzzing Jersey City. That was a couple summers ago. <laughs> oh, that's a different area. Then. I ain't never. Yeah, seen yeah what the hell you talking yeah, about? Yeah. Turtle wax. You never. This ain't an ad. Come on, anyway. <clears throat> um, yeah, let's man. stay on Rick Ross. Look, look, Rick Come on, let's stay. Rick was talking. Before we talk about something serious. Yeah, Rick was talking when he was walking. Motherfucker told him ten grand to cut down the trees. He did it himself. That's a business you can start for five hundred. Rick some Ross, chainsaw for Rick Ross, one of our favorite rappers, right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yes, he is. Though. I'm Absolutely. telling. I'm telling our no, audience no, that may not it. know yeah. what's going on with, yeah, yeah. with this. This because this is. Yeah. This is not a story that just comes up in hip hop. No, at it's all. Not. Yeah. Rick Ross bought a uh, board. Bort. <laughs> Rick Ross purchased. Angus, one Angus. Yeah, and I think he plans on getting more. More, yeah. gotta get more. You got to, yeah, because they'll die from loneliness or some shit. That's what happened in your one movie. Nah, Jurassic <laughs> Park or some shit. <laughs> no, ET, said right? Park. ET, one of the movies. <laughs> weird nigga was lonely. <laughs> ET, fucking ET, fucking alien. No, it's a movie where the guy <laughs> was lonely. What was it? Was one of the little rug rap movies? <laughs> What was it? The munchies? No holes. Somebody was lonely, man. E.T. was down here dolo. Gremlins. <laughs> E.T. was dolo. Yo, oh, yo, man. As, as an adult, somebody tell me the premise of E.T. <laughs> Bam. I, I still Please, I, please, please. I have we can no idea. Say the Stranger I'm, Things, I think, but. <laughs> no, Stranger Things is just. <laughs> well, I'm about to get us canceled. <laughs> <laughs> Kids running around trying to find a. Sound <laughs> oh, <laughs> killer, we good, right? Wait, they got Stranger Things still on. Them kids look thirty. <laughs> <laughs> Them niggas is six seven. <laughs> Talking about their kids. All right, come uh, on, moving on. Rick Ross got some Angus. He's and, really embracing and the, wants uh, to get more the cowboy, the farmer life. So yeah. he's cutting down trees. And I guess he made some phone calls and they charged him $1,000 per tree. Mm. He has 10 trees. He didn't want to pay the 10 stacks. He got online, got on his socials. You know, that's what we do now. <laughs> yeah. We give right to our socials <laughs> and then tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody's a snitch. <laughs> Niggas get right to the phone and start telling, <laughs> speaking facts on the situation. <laughs> he didn't want to pay the 10, so he said, I'm cutting it myself. And he went out there and got with a chainsaw and a hat 
And it, it showed him <laughs> cutting down one of the trees. It took him a little second, but the tree fell. He fell. And down. then the video stopped. And then I was home confused. Yeah. Wow. Oh, no, you don't, Rick Ross. <laughs> what happened to the stump, Ross? That Rossy. <laughs> what happened to the other nine trees? That nigga went in the house. And, and the big ass tree that you had to deal with. Show me your rich ass getting rid of that tree. <laughs> Get it out of there. <laughs> Niggas ain't paying. They had it cut hey. up. Now y'all cut it up. They had it cut up. No, show me you cutting it up <laughs> and get look. <laughs> no, see, he cut it off. I want to see the fun. I want to see him cut it up and get that out of there. Because a thousand dollars a pop for that is is a cheap. great That's price. That's a pretty good deal. Yeah, it's a good pretty no, it's a good. great price. Yeah. Yo, I I I looked into this at the compound right uh -huh. when it was the soccer field back there. Yeah, and I was like, how do you cover this trees? That's what all the rich people do in the yeah, suburbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They get the trees. They plant them shit. So yeah. that's when I investigated trees. Uh -huh. And that's when I got learned by trees. That shit ain't cheap. That Nowhere shit near cheap. cheap. And that big if you do it tree. artificially, it's not cheap. It's cheap. Yo, that big ass tree? Yeah. It must be. This is a great price because that's where they was trying to bang me at. $1,000 a tree yeah. is cheap. And let's not forget about the stump. <laughs> no, they got the little thing that rolls I over. Know. They chew it up with the spit all yeah. like 10 I mean, it was it was dope though to see him cutting the tree down. I fuck with the entrepreneurial shit, but that's funny. This is hilarious. That nigga's too rich. Hilarious. That nigga's too rich to be out there cutting that tree down. That's what I'm saying. What is he talking about? <laughs> see, I thought the boss shit was reversed in this. <laughs> like, the, he said, "No, it's the boss move." I'm no, but he's right because he's on that shit. Yeah. He's on that that Do shit. Yourself, so, yeah. so he's right. This is earn your leisure ish type shit. It Why is. would I pay ten grand? For something I think I can do myself, especially if I'm home doing if nothing. I'm, doing that I'm home doing time. nothing. I'm staring at the yard. Ain't hey, not for nothing. If you're gonna live the country lifestyle, you gotta go out and cut a tree sometimes. He got lucky as hell, man. He ain't putting no wedge cut in there. Yeah, word. <laughs> he got lucky as hell because that could have went. That's a fact. That could have went. That's a fact. Left. That blade gets literally in that tree. Yeah, he got lucky, man. And that Ross watched about. YouTube before he cut that tree down. No, he, he didn't. Did go. He, he had a wedge cut in there. Made you do the wedge. He had a wedge cut in there if you watch YouTube. That is true. And get a rope to pull it the yeah. right direction and the, shit. The, 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 the guide it down. Yeah. All right, I hate to be the guy, but our pod's too big to continue <laughs> continue with this as the first topic. <laughs> <laughs> they hate when I say they be tearing me up. Don't you fucking tell them what to talk to. That's literally what I'm here to do. Work. That's my sole job here is to do that. Mm -hmm. Um, And while I just got a bunch of shit to talk about, I don't. So it was the game Drink Champs interview that has yet to happen. But boy, did the clips have us riled up. I can't wait. Indeed. Now, Ice has an interesting take here that you just I just need to be educated on. We're going to get the best and most ex extravagant lies we've ever heard in our lives on this episode. I'm with you. This is going to be amazing. I'm with you. I don't care. I'm just here for the lies. It's going to be great. Now, call me naive again. Why does why you think that? Like, why, why is it, like, guaranteed that we're getting lies? <clears throat> yeah. Because it's the game talking. And this is not a shot at him, but he's very extra. Like, he puts, he lie. Everybody know he like, <laughs> but they be good lies though. They do be good lies. They like be like what? great the Tupac lies. picture. That was that was one of the best lies ever. Oh, ever. come on. Y'all still holding that against him? Yes. Fam. <laughs> Wait. You can't do I'm that. I'm holding it against him. No, we, 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 we like it. Is. We not that's sorry, not, we like it. That's not fair. What? You photoshopped your fair. self on someone else and put a picture out with you and Pac. It's Pac. But it's not you. <laughs> <laughs> But this was mad long ago he did this. I'm going to still laugh at it. Yeah, this is still funny. Oh, please. I've, the, I've seen women make their waist look like this with a little and I laugh snap at of a button. Yeah, that's funny, too. That's a lie, too, God damn it. All right, all right, all right. We don't crucify all right. them. I woke, up the com I woke up out the coma 2001, around the same time Dre dropped 2001. Game lyric, right? That was a lyric. Are you about to tell me Wait. that 2001 didn't come out in 2001? It did not. came out in 99. <laughs> but so what if I'm writing my rhyme? <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm going to defend game, yo. Fuck it. <laughs> but fam, I have nothing not we game. on the I same have side. Nothing better to do. I can't address anything I really want to. <laughs> <laughs> That's the crazy part. We on the same side. I am looking forward to this. Not for nothing bad. This is going to be great. 
Yo, you gonna come yo, and say some shit. Yo, you you niggas that check the lie in the rhymes, yo, and y'all pick and choose when to do it and when not to do it. If I'm writing my rhyme and I want to lie and it rhymes, you know what? Time out, time out. Nah, I actually appreciate someone that's gonna do whatever it's gonna take to make the shit happen, which is what Game does. He's gonna lie, whatever the fuck he's gonna do to make I the shit happen. I, gar- I guarantee you. I appreciate that. That Game figured that uh, that line out, those lines, those bars. And then somebody told him when the album came out, but I'm not changing my rhyme, yo. Yeah, no. We don't want you it to change it. Too it hard. sounded great. I don't want you to All change it. All right, so it. what else you got for me? <laughs> you want more game lies or just lying? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't... <laughs> DSK. <Yeah>, dogs. <laughs> we be right there. <laughs> I, I knew we were going to believe it. It's a little <laughs> he put the He put the bottle, he put the picture up. Saying that a, a sheik in Dubai or something gave him all these bottles of uh, Don Perignon with all these watches on them, and then the guy whose picture it really was like, "Hey, my man, that's my picture." <laughs> yeah, but how you found me? <laughs> <laughs> what Yo, game does nah, this? but how did you find my page, my G? He did that for real. Yes. Yeah, but this is when it was fun. This is when the internet was different. Good times. Game and Bow Wow did some amazing <laughs> shit. Really really Game did. and Bow Wow did some amazing shit with other people's pictures. <laughs> so? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them niggas. <laughs> Yo, we pray all of y'all home watching uh what's the uh, Anna shit investigating Annie. Yeah. yeah. That's what she did. That's I what like the tender. Her. I like we like her. <laughs> I like a good lie, yo. Me too. So do we. That's why I can't wait to watch this. We not huh? saying anything. But it gotta be a good lie. It was her pictures. <laughs> it wasn't her money. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm taking a picture next to Warren Buffett. I ain't saying I got money. You assume I got money because I'm with him. But what, you think he gonna lie now though? Yeah, nigga. What? Yes. All right, fine. I'm off it. I'm off it. I'm off it. But this is a great these are gonna be great lies though. I think that I think that we will get a vulnerable game. And I think that... Oh, did you in- watch the clip? Yes. You heard him say Kanye did more for, me, more for me in the last two weeks than Dr. Dre did my entire career, right? I interpret that as him being vulnerable. I interpret that as him lying. Or some introspective <laughs> shit. It's not it nah, some see? introspective shit. That's somebody that's hurt speaking. He's hurt. See, in hip hop, we don't, we very rarely do we look past the surface. We just take some shit that the publicist said. You publicist group's been on my ass all week. Suck my dick. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with these niggas? Uh, anyway, yeah, oh. we got to look past the surface <laughs> with some shit. You don't think that's a hurt man that's saying that? 100%. Don't make it not a lie. <laughs> I'm just stuck yeah, on the, but the. But you got to get to the root of a lie is fine. Why is the, why is the lie happening? You got to get to that part. And in hip hop, we don't we don't do that. The lie is happening because he's hurt and affected by something that not too long ago on his socials he said he was not. Mm-hmm. But with the line of questioning in the clip, we could tell that's a serious thing for him, and and probably has been for his career. So now if we want to talk about, and I'm, now I'm not talking about game, now I'm just getting into therapy. Now if you're just talking about uh, how someone responds to abandonment. Because now that's Dre. Now that's 50. Uh, damn, is somebody else missing from that list? Where you could say game has felt abandoned before by some people and he don't respond to greatest. So I, I, I think that that's vulnerable. I don't think it's going to come out the best, especially if liquor's involved. And I think game puts the extras on shit. Like he'll, he'll say a name, like he'll divulge something that probably wouldn't be divulged. And he's well-respected. Mm-hmm. Yeah, again, this, nothing so, I'm saying is dissing him. Yeah, we like game. We like game. I'm just saying this is hurt speaking. I'm saying that. Because you can't gonna, make sense of it. This is going to be the most entertaining drink champs in a long time. He went up here looking like yay. With the mask, the glasses, the all black on. Like, he know what he's doing. He's he chugged in the whole cap- bottle. So, I, 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 all right, so, I so I apologize to each of you. It clearly, it's going to be niggas dressing like bats. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I owe y'all an apology. No, that, that was my bad. What the fuck do I be thinking sometimes? I'm naive again. Yeah, yeah. Yo, everywhere he go. Nah, you just got faith. Nah, you know what he's like? The what? It was like a superhero. It's like the like rogue. Like he makes people just people just start dressing like him as soon as he leaves. The that is a power. Yeah. Nah. 
And that's why it's funny watching the Kanye doc. Because everything is consistent throughout, even the doofiness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, I just go to show you that the masses is so influenceable. You could just do something. If you got, I remember one time you and one of your exes was arguing, and Pop was there. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and she was like, nigga, you ain't got no style. And he was like, but who creates style? <laughs> and you told her, like, yo, Us Weekly? You got a stack of Us Weekly beside your bed. If Beyonce came out here and tied a belt around her head, all you bitches would be wearing belts around your head. Oh, my Dog, God. That's that's true. True. <laughs> Can you put a dollar in the cup, please, yo? yo. Every time you think he's saying something that'll get you. Yeah, he'd be right yeah, there. Yeah, he'd be right. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> yo, but that's true. Yo, fam, if somebody famous do some oh, shit, man. everybody follow suit. Facts. Yes. It don't care. It don't matter how outrageous it is. It well, matter. it's got to be a certain level of fame, though. No, no, certain no, people like certain le- will get certain people for right it, level. and certain no, 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 people will get right, praised for you're it. You're right. The, 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 it ain't right. even really got to be that. F- nah, you got. If you mega famous, fam, Cassie wasn't that famous. She was fine. What she do? Shaved half her head, and they went crazy with it. She was fine. Though. Yeah, she was fine. <laughs> <laughs> Still fine. Yeah. You gonna Still reiterate? Facts, huh? Say it one more time. <laughs> She's fine. <though. laughs> He's right though. No, no, no. you don't no, say. Man. No, but because someone know, that fine does some shit that other people can try. You know, to women want to hate each other, but sometimes the girl comes along that's too beautiful, and all the women have to like agree to it. Mm-hmm. And so, she ain't do nothing wrong. She don't yeah, speak in public. Yeah, you yeah. just sound like an asshole hating on her. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> she was so dope. Oh man, nah, come on, <laughs> come on. Yo, the women will pick what they champion, though. Uh, <laughs> well, I know where you're going. <laughs> the women also get a nigga shot. <laughs> I'm trying to think. We could really party. We wanted to more. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Yeah, let's just going. move on. I'm trying to think. Let's just going. move on, man. I'm oh, yeah. excited for the interview. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I can't wait. Yeah. This is going to be, be an amazing dream champs. I already know. I'm looking forward to it. You know it's going to be good because Nori's really hype about it. Mm. <laughs> and the only person that has all the footage. And knows how great this is going to look. It's Nori. It's Nori. It's Nori. Yeah. Nori is also coming off an amazing Kanye interview. True. Mm-hmm. So you really shouldn't be this hype about a game interview. Unless you know what you got. Mm-hmm. Did, did, he, did, he, did he love and light text you yet? Who? Nori. Not a day of drop. Thursday morning. On, on a day of drop, yeah. he going to hit you with the love and light text? <laughs> he ain't gonna hit me with that text this week. <laughs> Nor? And, and not at all. Them niggas don't play with me when they know I got something to talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, they don't, no, 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 no. This week. Oh, no, yeah. no, no. See, I don't play. I don't do that. <laughs> no, you got, you got I don't do that. You gotta shoot that. I don't do that. You have to do that. I don't. Then when they go low. That's not going low. That's your man. Oh, that's your of people. course, that's my man. So that's not going low. Those niggas is rendezvousing him and Kanye running around. They yeah, having yeah, smoothies. Yeah. Somebody wrote it in the comments. Did you text Joe Budden? <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> Yo, somebody wrote it in the comments. Nah, but they, funny, yeah, they don't play with me when I got something to talk. They only uh-huh. play with me when I'm just here with y'all. Then they want to start texting. <laughs> I be like, nigga, y'all niggas done had Kodak Black, uh, Trippy Red, and that every rapper in the world. Why y'all picking with me now? <laughs> Oh, oh, it's cool. I, I, hey, the second I, I, I yo, they be kidding me because I gotta come sit here and talk twice a week. Don't let me get to flying around. I'll just start talking to people, nigga. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Oh man. I would definitely hit him with a love and light text. So I ain't gonna hold you. Not even on no petty shit. That's no, my man. No. And I know you're joking with me when you do it. That's petty shit. <laughs> Fuck you, but, man. Nah, not petty. Not negative petty. Yeah, it's good petty. Yeah. It is good. Petty with it is good fun, Patty. Yeah, but he, get, he would get that text. I ain't doing that. But no, nah, Nori got some good shit coming. I can't wait to see it. Uh, and that's fam for the people that yeah, yeah, think yeah, this yeah, is yeah. anything else. Yeah. Have to account for them. The audience is large. Um, and people misinterpret all the time. Every time. Yeah, How be. could he think? Let me just pretend that what Game is saying is true uh-huh. to him. How could he think that? Which point you talking about? The Kanye? Yes. Right? Like I want I don't want to just dismiss it because again we don't really know we it don't. in this context. So he might be saying him hanging out with Ye, right? Mm-hmm. The last two weeks on some again more introspective shit might have taught him or shown him or enlightened him more than being around Dre for ever. 
Ye be rolling around with some nice things too. Game is from LA. Wait, time out. Because I want to tackle one thing at a time. Y'all ain't going to sneak none of this by me. What are you saying? I'm saying, like, in talking to Kanye, because yeah. you know Kanye is okay, a, deep, what you were a saying. deeper level of thinker. Okay. Yeah. So in the last two, three weeks of hanging out with Kanye, mm. he might have got more introspective, more worldly views than being around. Because he didn't necessarily say, he said, yo, he's done more for me in the last two weeks. Right. No, 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 no. He said he's done more for my more th- for me than Dre's done my career. So this is a career based statement. He might have gave him some Bitcoin. Nah, he might have gave him a way in which to be independent. You, you, yeah, you get what yeah. I mean? Like financially independent. Kanye's on a different level of thinking oh, than well, any artist. A, a nice squad around me. That's <laughs> <laughs> all I'm saying. Hey, are you horny or something? No, I'm just yeah, you saying. You went from Cassie, like, she's fine as fuck. She is. Yeah, it might, it might be a little yeah, hor- horny week. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, married niggas get a little horny Yo. week. And I want to challenge that. <laughs> but I probably don't I, do that. <laughs> I know. Because, dog, we, we got to start calling a spade a spade around here. And there's some of the fans running around posting the meme and the pictures. It's a thousand yous. It's only one of me. Dog, her ain't her. <laughs> Let me just make the. Hello? <laughs> I know this nigga's influence is strong and powerful. Her ain't her, yo. Mm. That ain't that. <laughs> nah. No. It's, you it's think levels so? To this. No. Yeah, it's me. Yo, they gotta stop that ish. Come on. Nobody knows better than you. Come on, speak to it. Damn, I'm chilling. I'm, I'm, I'm letting you rock out. <laughs> Don't let me rock with nothing. Yeah. That, That's like when the little CRX niggas used to pull up next to the Lex Coop. <laughs> it's the Chrysler pulling up to the. Fa- fa- it's the. Sa- it's the Chrysler yeah. 300. This <laughs> is this. Yeah, this, this is that. That ain't that. What, Cat, that. what Genesis? What, what Cat Williams said? It looked like a phantom it, it, until a phantom pull up. Until a phantom pull, pull up, it, it, be like, yo. But it don't, yo. You I'm know when you, right. you lead a relationship and be horny and just start fucking shit you don't normally fuck. That's what it be, yo. And that's what we saying, yo. That, that yeah. Let me mind my business. <laughs> That ain't mama business. <laughs> this, this ain't, it's and, and even if I'm, you. even if we fuck it, we ain't supposed to be holding hands right now. <laughs> Hello, holding hands. They ain't holding hands. Oh well, don't look like we holding. Hands. <laughs> <laughs> don't let the, make the cameraman get don't the right look, angle. Yo, cameraman caught that a little too early. I just what? made old girl, old girl. We, me and her, I made her the ice sculpture. Was <laughs> like it was a movie going on, mm. and now you jump right to this is a mess, yo. He's too great. <laughs> Agreed. He's too great. He's just outside. Nigga, man. me and you wouldn't do this. I would never do it. I wouldn't would do none of, of this. You wouldn't think it's never in my life. Yeah, I wouldn't do that, but she's tough, Joe. You don't just do that. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, I don't want to. This nigga said the, the CRX. <laughs> Call the CRX. <laughs> Yo, what's up with you today? To he is letting it fly. <laughs> anyway, moving on, because they prep. Uh, Jesus and I'm older. It's, it's, still, just, it's, it's, it's still levels. It's just levels. It's, it's, no, still, it's, it's still, still levels. levels. You can't leave. Life. You can't leave your billion. You know. Yeah. No. That, now you at the CRX level. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Chevette. And you know, no, you at the Chevette. <laughs> Niggas about to <laughs> <laughs> Niggas about to have Chevette to Omnis. I'm just saying. Oh my. <laughs> Corey, I'm um, like. <laughs> These niggas is old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Said, Omni, bro. Corey, I'm lying. Nah, niggas Yo, what year they stop making the Omni? I don't know, but I know niggas Seven. was four. <laughs> Fam, the 14 year old drug dealer in my hood, they first joint was a Chevette and an Omni. Look, it had some systems in it. And you, you was really getting to it, you got some rims. <laughs> I yeah, said, Omni? Omni, yeah. yo. <laughs> a Dodge Omni. Yes, oh, nigga. Man. 14. In my hood, I think niggas was financing. What, what infinity was that? A J30? Or the I30? Shit it looked like a bubble. It was the J30, right? It looked like a, little, a bubble. Little, funny, little bubble look. Oh, man, it was... Oh. Yo, the That's funny, the no. shit that was your dream car back in the day is Damn. some bullshit. In, in the 90s? It is some real bullshit, man, yeah. pee on that shit now. Yeah, it's disgusting. <laughs> look at that. Look at these Buicks. You couldn't, <laughs> Come on, Buick. you couldn't tell me my mama wasn't rich when she used to go up to Buick. <laughs> She used to go up to Buick and leave with a car. Buick. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Oh, the shit, though. Oh, man. That shit is disgusting. What, Infinity? That. <laughs> that J30 is horrible. Not in 90. Not, that yeah. shit was popping. <laughs> that was the one for what? me. That shit was odd. That was real nice. That's hilarious. But the cars, that shit up, the new Malibu blew my brain. I was like, wow, look at the air in here. Like, it didn't take much for me to Maxima. <laughs> 
Anyway, moving on. Enough of cars. Hey, love and light to everybody there in, go. in their indeed. situation out there. Fuck who you want to fuck. That's right. But you ain't got to be so public about it. Nah, because that's their way of saying, like, I'm not thinking about that. I'm you. Nah, that's a hurt talk. Yeah, it's hurt. It's hurt talk. It's hurt. I got to show you I'm not. I'm doing all of this because I'm, I'm off that. It's I have to show it. I'm trying back to prove to, it to myself. Back the game real quick because we left that and we probably on it for too long. But let me just say this. As a guy who couldn't sniff a Dr. Dre beat in 2003, uh-huh. looking at someone come out with all Dr. Dre beats. Yeah. You tight? I think I was in. I'm just saying I understand the perspective. I'm not tight. Like you get the hand that you dealt. Hey, sometimes you get no spades. Don't you? Who you gonna be? The guy that played a hand and try to play it cool, or the guy that before the hand played? Hey, what do you do if you get a hand with no spades? <laughs> one of them niggas. You one of them niggas. You ain't never heard me say that. I didn't say you was. I'm saying, nigga. You got a face card. (laughs) You playing that hand. Get some books, nigga. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck is you talking about? Don't matter what's in that hand. I'm playing it. And I be liking to think if I ain't got no spades, it's lopsided. My partner better have ten of them. I'm gonna know. My I'm gonna know by how I'm cool he right away. Yeah, who got all the spades? Yeah, yeah. Like Cause that's when joints. they start doing this shit with their shoulders, stomping <laughs> their feet. All right, now is the time. Yeah, did y'all bid? Bid? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> niggas want to rush you to bid. Now niggas be. Now niggas got to take twenty minutes to decide if they go in the ten. They got thirteen books. <laughs> they got thirteen books. Yo, what you got? I got six. You no way. No, no, you got six. You can't. You can't. Cause I got five and a. Hold up, let me count. Let me I, yeah, count. Yeah, let me yeah, count. yeah, yeah. I got hold five up, and a up, shot. Up, hold up, let me. I got five. We could do this. Hold on. You wanna? You said you got six. Yo, you wanna go? You sure? Well, nigga, y'all done counted the 12, 12 and a pop a million different times. How long you want me to sit here with this bad hand and look at this bullshit? <laughs> Bitch ass. Oh, look what you made me do. Fuck! Do it count if you're talking to guys? Yes. Yeah. Oh, man. That is right, that's funny. Look, I got a little Nigga, dollar like, here, too. That's how I knew the strip club was yo, bad the other man. night. I, I went there with singles. It was bad, so I went to another strip club with the same singles that I started from home with. And then went home with single. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That's tough to do. <clears throat> no, it ain't. For who? <laughs> Normally, when a nigga walk out with some singles, his plan is to get rid of the singles. He ain't trying to go home with the singles. That's optional. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know what you're talking it's about. That's optional. Right, I leave the spot yeah, with some wild. singles. They going home. Yeah, I'm just saying, as the guy that knows how difficult it would be to, to smell a Dr. Dre beat or a session mm. or that snare or that drum or that you mix. A, you had an album. Yeah, you had an album Dre's with that. And then your career, and then more, yeah, your career, yeah, yeah. and more. I know. Then he got more, but I'm just saying that was your, that was your push from the goal line. That was your introduction. Mm-hmm. Like I did whatever I could do. Uh, I did whatever it is I could do with the success from my first album. Like moving forward, that's where you had the goal line. What you gonna do now? Label problems, regime change. Same with Game. Like Game has been through a lot, and he's withstood a lot. Mm-hmm. So for him to stand where he stands. I just I'm disappointed that we have to hear a hurt game, especially on topics where you're talking about people that you got over 20 years with now or close to 20 years. Like, I like to see the reconciliation in hip hop. Mm-hmm. I would hope to see more of it. I like when Baby and Wayne did it. I'm hoping that Hov and Dame would do it one day. Maybe Kanye could be the conduit there. Um, who else is man? People that that beat that just made up. And I was I'd like to see it. Show that to them. Don't just show people that we just fight and we shoot niggas and yeah, seen Dipset, we kill each it. other and we beef. Dipset. That was another major one. The Locks and Puff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was there Holden, for that. Holding Fat Joe. Jay and Oz. 50 and Fat Joe. Jay and Oz mm-hmm. was bigger. Jay and Oz. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I agree with that. Yeah, I want to see more of that. Again, so I, I hope it's just not clickbait. I want to see. No, no, they talking. It in context. I'm talking about the Dre shit. I want yeah, to see it in context. Yeah. I want to see it in context. All right. So moving right along. What else is important? What else do they need our opinion on? I got a list somewhere. Oh, okay. You got one too. There ain't too much on there. Let me see. I got some sports shit. They got oh, well, Still on music. Um, yeah, let's stay on me. You got to clap it up for Snoop. Snoop now oh, owns yeah. the Masters to the Death Row catalog as well. I was that was well. going to come. They, it they came said, a little afterwards, but they yeah. said that that was one of his motivating factors for even taking over Death Row. Was that once he got that spot, he was going to be able to have control of the Masters and potentially get all the shit back because he said he never got paid. 
Mm. So now if you own your own shit, that's your shit to get paid from forever. And having that catalog is different. That's, that's a nice different. catalog. That's, that's a nice different. catalog. So that's, couple, that's major. There's a couple of... Uh, might be a diamond in there. A, a, a couple. Might be a couple diamonds in there. It might be yeah. a couple. Ain't Close tr- to it. All eyes on me. Ain't Doggy tricking me style, to talk chronic. about ownership on air again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, buddy. No. We just we just give it Snoop his props. That's all. Yeah, round of applause. You guys, you guys round of applause for what? Snoop. You went back and got Death Row and the catalog? That's, that's gangster. Yeah. That's gangster. That's, that's full circle for your ass right there. And he might be pushing a bill now. Mm. If he controls that, he should be pushing damn near a billion dollars. Agree? With all other shit he got going, it should be knocking Sam, on Sam, You can't turn on the TV without seeing Snoop. He might be up at there. At all. <laughs> at all. He quietly should be up there. He should yeah. damn near be there. He's going to be one of those that I don't let y'all know what I'm making. Uh huh. I don't need to be on your list. That's pocket watching. Oh, Chronic yeah. and All Eyes on Me not in that. And Machiavelli not in it. Oh, uh, so it's. Uh, yeah. mm. Still. That's okay. Who it's, has those, I wonder? Pocket State, maybe, I guess, and then Dre. The Pac projects are owned by Pocket, Pocket States, um, Amaro Entertainment, and the Two Pocket State. Okay. And Dre gets the Chronic back to him in 2023. Oh, okay. That's seven day theory, yo. Y'all can't fuck with Bach dead. <laughs> that Mac Belly album. Bro, 25. Oh my lord, yo. He goes 25 when he passed. That Mac Belly album is it's still. Still. Mm-hmm. That's one of them. Oh my Jesus. Even for me, not a Pac fan, that's still one of them albums. It's just so well put together, it is. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, anything else in music? Um, we say rest in peace to Snooty Wild. Absolutely, yeah. That's also music related. Um, for those who don't know, Snooty Wild was he was shot over the weekend, I believe it was. I want to get the date correct. Uh, uh, Friday, February twenty fifth. Uh, a lot of people know he had the uh, Yayo record. He was signed to Yo Gotti mm-hmm. back in twenty fourteen, fifteen era. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I don't know if there's any other details out yet, but rest, rest in peace. peace. Rest in peace. 36 years old. 36. Young, man. Still young. His Talk. record was a... Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, 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 uh. Mm-hmm. Oh, come on, man. Oh, that was him? Yeah. That used to ring That's off in the strip on. club, too. Yeah, that, that was one of still ring off. That used to ring mm-hmm. off in the strip club. I hate it every week we got to do this. I, I, yo, I was or, saying... It, it bothers me. When I heard about it, I was it like, yo, me. a rapper a week, yo. We average damn near a rapper a week. Definitely one a month, but that's nuts. That is crazy. 36 years old, found in the ditch. On the news this morning, it said they caught, uh, they caught, uh, Alpo, Alpo, yeah. Alpo's killer. Really? Yeah. Uh-huh. And they're saying it was over road rage. I, I, I just find that so hard to believe, yo. I, I do too. That but... sounds insane. Man, that Alpo. sounds insane to me. Alpo. I ain't, I'm not. He was in. I can't say it. You can't say it now. You're right. You're right. It's sensitive. Part, time stamp killer. Yeah, it's sensitive. We can't say that. I, mean, I maybe shouldn't even say that the, the traffic uh, stop shit is hard to believe. But, yo, shit get wild at, at, at traffic at traffic time, yo. Facts. I think it was 3 o'clock in the morning in Harlem. No. No, 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 no. Whatever traffic shit happened, happened. And then he laid on them. Yeah. He laid on him, and then oh, and then they bumped, and, and then they, they then he then he caught him coming out of here. But the traffic exchange was like three weeks earlier. He hit oh, him on his motorcycle, wow. kept, and they say he was known for riding erratic on his bikes and all that shit. He hit the oh, dude on the bike. The dude wow. had some words, and he laid on him, taking pictures of him, looking for him, following really? him, shit like that. And then yeah. it just so happens on Halloween, dude was coming out of one spot, and he was in the deli with his people, and was like, "Oh, oh shit, that's him right there." Wow, that's the story. That's not me saying. And the that's boy the story was twenty seven. I leave these young niggas alone. Yeah, I was getting ready to say young niggas. Yeah, boy, young niggas is going go tighten you right on up. I'm good. Pardon me, big guy. Yeah, yep. but pardon me, big you gotta guy. Leave just, yep. but you gotta leave humans alone. Yeah, but the that's young niggas. I understand what y'all saying. I understand what y'all saying. But listen, because that's how you get into this, right? 
And I'm I'm imagining and speculating. I wasn't there, but I've been in traffic altercations where shit got thick and you don't really know who's who while niggas is seated behind metal doors. Mm-hmm. Or right. you don't know who's who, period. Period. Right. Mm-hmm. You don't know who you're talking to. You so, don't know this nigga got nigga yeah. see your so, car next so week. So imagine, but listen, just you got to just use your imagination for this. Alpo said, nah, witness protection. I'm going home to the same place. You got to put your, that's the person mm-hmm. that is riding around on his motorcycle, nice day or whatever. And now, man, yeah, I'm driving wild. Because <laughs> I've seen that too now. The niggas that's driving wild, but say something to them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that that's common. So now you don't the young nigga that said something to Alpo. It's Alpo. Like just imagine that. Imagine how that it goes. I could see the young nigga leaving tight. <clears throat> I don't think it went smooth. If I'm guessing, mm. they go smooth on my motorcycle. You little young, you know the fuck. <laughs> you that yeah, that yeah, that no. I'm leaving this. But I'm leaving this alone. The 27 year old nigga got. But that's what we're saying. That's what Some I'm saying. Stain. And other nigga like, boy, you, you don't know who. 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 We watch Carlitos way. Vinny Blanco ain't give a yeah, fuck. Or... Nigga, he... what? All right. I guess that's always how it goes, yo. Yeah, or completely unrelated. It's, it's always that's how, how it goes. goes. I don't know, sauce. So I'm cool. That's just wild, yo. And we be telling my driver to fucking drive recklessly. See, look at you. Do. <laughs> yeah, you do? You be on your driver ass. You do? Yo, a, a speed, a st- little high speed chase is fun. Like, I can see how driving <laughs> a little. 22. Well, yeah, it's not fun at 40. It ain't fun in your 40s, fam. You woman. I'm good. Ice broke his wrist going upstairs. We don't even. Get, <laughs> we, I, we, that was a wild. We're not even getting into that. But uh, anything else in music? Uh, 50 Cent is going off on stars again. What he said? He put a video. A bunch of shit. Put a clip up of a dude packing his bag. He said, this is me packing my stuff, stars. Oh, shit. Sucks my deal is up over here. I'm out. They renewed Hightown and Force is the highest rated show they have sitting in limbo. Force is also true. If, uh, if I told you how much dumb shit I deal with over here, you would think they all went to school on a small yellow, but you can't say that, 50. <laughs> You can't say that, but this is what 50 does, uh, and I don't think this means he's leaving. No, no. no. He, I think this is how he negotiates, and he's facts. powerful enough that he's able mm-hmm. to do that. Uh-huh. So that's the that. Leverage, leverage but but what he did say, Hold back my. to what I told Ish, Hightown was getting renewed. Hightown was that shit. Hightown was getting renewed. It was a late, it was I a late see it. burner. Like, it came and a lot of people knew about it. I didn't but know once everybody about, jumped yeah. on that. Wait, y'all think Force is trash? I'm, yes. ca- I'm caught up now. No. I still don't think, don't think it's trash. I don't think it's really? trash at all. And they tear ice ass up in the comments. Well, okay. Why is Force? No. But tell me why it's trash. It's too much going on too fast. Like, it's the same thing I said from okay, episode I like one. That. I, I like it I like well. that. And, and in this microwave said, society, I like you got to get to it quick. But you and, also told me the best thing he do is character development. You can't rush character development. And but, I feel like this is being rushed. But if you don't, niggas going to be like, man, that shit corny as hell. They say that for the first two, three episodes. And then when shit really pick up, it's like, oh, shit, I get it now. But I, I don't said that about the, the last five shows I watched. I don't I, think the character development is rushed. Me either. I have a very good understanding a bit of, of, who, of who everyone is. It just takes you a second. The sun coming around a little too early. The Irish son, uh-huh. mm-hmm. he's come around to their side a little too early. They should have did that later on in the season. Spoiler alert. Um, that's it. To me, I think it's dope. I like, I, and I understand I the dope. people that say, "Yo, this shit is stupid." His brother's black. Blah blah blah. <laughs> I, I don't get those mind people. That part. But I, don't mind that either. I like that the brother's black. I like that the son is a murderer on the other. Like I just. I, they got some. They got tricky. yeah. They paint a nice picture, yeah, and I'm not I'm mad just, at it okay. so far. I like the beef between the CMB brothers. Yo, CBI. This, not CMB, CBI. C- CBI. New Jack City. This could go literally. <laughs> no, CMB. This could go a hundred different ways. Too. You could get three, four more seasons easily off of this first season. Uh huh. You could have the Irish brother and sister beefing. Yeah. Tommy left the. Not a big fan of the Irish sister I'm, side story. I but. think she's kind of dope. Um, but that could go somewhere. Of course, Tommy's going to pop the sister. Huh? The Irish girl's getting popped. She's a lesbian. I bet you she get popped before. What's that name? <laughs> I bet you she get popped. <laughs> She's getting what, stuck. What part are you talking about? You're not, no, fucking, you're not fucking lesbian? 
Yeah. Who says she a lesbian? She might go both wait, ways. Wait, let me just know who I'm talking to in here. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me who never fucked a lesbian in she here. She might just go both ways. You get what I'm saying? She's getting popped. The brothers, of course, are beefing. That could go anywhere. And I like uh, the younger brother's man. Like, the story could get tricky because the younger I'm, brother's I'm, man I'm is loyal. You, I'm you know what you. I like? Where I'm, I'm going to keep it a buck. I like how 50 always look Jeremiah out. I love that. Like, even when the industry yeah, really fuck with him like that, he makes sure Jeremiah's on a single or he looks Jeremiah out. I fuck with that. That's who you talk That's That's the younger brother. Jer- Jeremiah and MF Doom. Rest in peace, MF Doom, man. As wacky as my brain is, I still ain't come up with a better hip hop trick than that shit they did. Is that who that is? That's yeah, Jeremiah. That's Jeremiah. I did not know. He's that. singing the theme song. Yep. Nah, I know he's and singing he's, the theme song. I didn't young. know that's who he was. Yeah, that's him. Oh and, wait, who who is he in the show? Um, the younger brother, his man, his, his man. Oh, Drew yeah. the braids. Oh mm-hmm. shit, I ain't know that either. That's dope. Yeah, I ain't peep. That's yeah, dope. no, that is him. And he doing a good job. Hmm. I ain't know that. But nah, this could this could branch off to a whole bunch of seasons. You can get a whole bunch of seasons out of five, six. I'm episodes. sure they will, and I'm gonna that's watch it. But so far, I'm not really that intrigued by this 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 season. Me neither. I'm still gonna watch. I'm still watching. All right, right to the goodies. House passes bill to make lynching a federal hate crime. In 2022. Uh, <laughs> Round of low... Well, uh, fam, I'm not... You know the crazy part? Yeah, So look, law, law, oh. Lawmakers approved... 22 to 3 vote. There were some people I want to know who <laughs> voted against that. The three I people the need to have I, their names out there. I, they're out there. Someone posted earlier. I forgot. Wait, name. somebody posted the names of the three people that oh, voted against this? Oh, no, they got it up here. Oh, my God. Yo, take me from Earth. Move me to somewhere else, Republic- please. Thomas yo. Massey, Republican from Kentucky, Chip Roy, Republican from Texas, and Andrew Clyde, Republican from Georgia, voted against that. Oh, see, I wish you would have said that. You, I hate when people eliminate my option of guessing correctly. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I would have said Georgia, mm-hmm. Texas, yeah, Texas. I and Kentucky. Kentucky. I would have said like Alabama. Yeah, def- Georgia and Texas was the first two. Georgia and Texas would have yeah. definitely I would have said Florida. Yeah, yeah, you, I would have said Florida. You was, you was watching NCAA in the 90s. You seen them Kentucky teams they was rolling out there. I yo. did. Come on, yeah. They wasn't I wouldn't have picked them Hey, that was Alabama, in the 90s. That, that was when Darvin Ham was jumping over niggas. Jumping they were still picking white, bo- white boys. <laughs> 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 That's racist, yo. <laughs> Yo, you yeah. see this? Y'all know my critical race theory. That's how it started. Dogs. Can't just watch Darvin Ham jump over people and then pick the white boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's something's off there. But anyway, this shit says the House passed the legislation Monday that would make lynching a federal hate crime after lawmakers failed to pass anti-lynching bill more than two hundred times. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> Yo, this has been bought up. Yo, why y'all think that's crazy in America? Well, I- you're right. I should. You're right. We have, we You're have, right. we have, we speak from from big city privilege. It That's ain't true. really but seven of us in That's the true. country that operate this way. That's true. A little more updated in our beliefs That's and our true. thinking, mm-hmm. right? It, you, you drive when you drive through the country, and I know because we have dr- taken a cross country trip with yeah. no license, like idiots. You're right. <laughs> You quickly learn what's going on out there. You just pulling over to get gas and get some snacks out the store. Mm-hmm. And them niggas are quickly. Yo, yo, yo so, so hold up. Y'all all right? Y'all lost? Right. Yo, y'all, y'all around here. Yo, y'all. Where you going? Nah, nah. I'm just, some, niggas, some niggas was looking out. Yo, y'all should get out of here. Mm-hmm. Oh, nah. Let me tell you. We was in. Um, <laughs> y'all, y'all should go. Man, we was in Jersey. Wait, we confused. <laughs> Wait, why don't we just real hard bring this up real quick? All right, yeah, but. Y'all should get out of here. This should be y'all last stop. Yeah, wait, what time is it, nigga? It's 9 a.m. Fam. But boy, the wind smelled racism y. <laughs> <laughs> Once he said that, you could, you could smell the racism. Dog, we were in Jersey, down Black Horse Park. Oh, I'm not playing that in Jersey. I get a gun. And we was taking a back road <laughs> to go Jersey, across. Dog. Look, we South were taking. For real? Look, yes. listen, listen. We was taking a back road to go across from like. Just going to Atlantic City, but not getting on the Atlantic City Expressway. Cop pulled us over and was like, yo, what, what, what y'all doing around here? Oh, no, nah, we coming from whatever city going to Atlantic City. Stay on the expressway. Don't come back this way. I'm going to let y'all out of here. Go get on the expressway and don't come back this way. Damn. Okay. I'm ignorant. I don't See, I don't be thinking that nobody should play like that with us in New Jersey after uh, them niggas made that video they made. Remember that video they made that we can't say that they made, but it was a lot of them oh. speaking for Jersey, <laughs> and they were speaking and 
It was like it's like laws being laid out. I'll tell you off the air. I told him. But there's some niggas that did a video and told you to leave New Jersey alone. North that, Jersey. No, that particular hood. But them niggas have cars. <laughs> Niggas What's up, niggas? Them niggas, them niggas ain't going down there like that. No, Jersey, but, but if they bro. did, what would happen? They'd light their ass up like Christmas. Who would light who up? Them boys in blue down there. The other boys in blue. The state <laughs> oh, you troopers. Oh, you talking about the police? And yes. Them. Oh, yeah, because they got friends in high places. They're the niggas. biggest gang. It's them. The police niggas the know where gang. to play and where not to play. All right, so we need some Crip Cops. We got to even this out. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up a second. <laughs> nah, for real. Y'all told me that that was the benefit in the uh, college frats. It's like you join the frat and then you look out for your brotherhood. They do. Yeah. In, in life. Mm-hmm. They do. You All right. right, so why is that exclusive? It's not. They have they have cops. It's just the minority, minority. What part of South Jersey is this? Bro, I'm, I'm going to give you a story. This is a true story. Two of them. I was in college. Mm. I went to Morgan State. Mm. Show and, off. No. Always throwing your education <laughs> nah, in niggas' face. Yo, I yo, hate think that. you better than me, yeah, nigga? I hate so? when he do that. Yo, Morgan. Yo, my scholarship. My, my, my history professor was like <laughs> a yo. weird scholarship, like a bowling scholarship. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> like a draft. Batman. Yeah, <laughs> some <laughs> weird ass shit he, he won with his smart <laughs> ass. Nah, the professor asked us one time. She's like, anybody from Jersey? She was born and raised in New Jersey. She got all of her degrees from Princeton. Uh-huh. She said, yo, you know you live in the most racist state in the union, right? And I was like, she said, yo, up until late, New Jersey had the most active Ku Klux Klan members. New fucking Jersey, dog. Yo. Well. Listen. <laughs> my peoples used to go to uh, Glassboro State. It's called, uh, they changed the name. Rowan, I Rowan, think. Rowan. Rowan. Exit three. Yeah. Bro, they used to have to leave on winter break and spring break. You had to leave in a group so that y'all hit the highway together because if they would catch your ass down there by yourself and do something to you. It's motherfucking well, New Jersey, dog. Not to joke around, yeah. but when you get into the history of New Jersey, you learn that. Yeah. Like, I learned that in my Montclair research, like when I got into the history of Montclair. Montclair was an important part in that whole thing. I'd have to Google it to remember. Nah. But also, you know that about New Jersey because there's just mad tribe names <laughs> of All cities. The Indians. Yeah. All the Indian shit. Or Native American shit. Bro. Yeah. They got ran out. Yeah. yeah. Dog, this shit is real. But again, think about we live in New Jersey. Mm. Dog, imagine when you go to Alabama, when you go to Mississippi, when you go to Florida, to certain parts of Florida. Dog, this shit gets real. You ain't got to tell me that. They, they, they shit, could go to Clark. Didn't Julio Jones go to Alabama? If y'all looking at him some type of way, then I don't stand a chance. Bro. Mm. That so, guy's a man. <laughs> 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 that nigga's a robot. Y'all, y'all judge him. Y'all don't think he's great? All right. Um, and they lying. Them three, they still gonna lynch. <laughs> Just so we're clear. <laughs> hey, I think they made that kind of Hey, <laughs> we objected. Y'all did what y'all wanted to do. We gonna run our shit the way we want to <laughs> run it. We wasn't reporting the lynchings anyway. Yeah. <laughs> why, why y'all think we reporting that? That's a good point. And that's some real... A black person just don't think of that crime. Hang him from the tree? For no other reason than what you look like. Yeah, no. No, that's disgusting, yo. That's nasty. I wouldn't have lived very long back in the past. Yes, you would have. You think so? Yeah, nigga, you got good common sense. I'd have said something I shouldn't have no, said. You wouldn't. Somebody, no, you wouldn't. No, you nah. wouldn't. Y'all wouldn't have Everybody been allowed. Saying y'all that. wouldn't have been allowed to say, "I'm not right now." <laughs> y'all have got killed. Y'all would have shut, y'all to shut that. y'all asses up. Y'all have let me you, get killed. You shut your ass up too. You, yo, got right in line. You, you wouldn't even have known these freedoms that we have. Mm-hmm. I think I would have been <laughs> partly responsible for our great escape. <laughs> I'd have been with that, <laughs> but. You wouldn't have been talking back. It's like now. You see me out here trying to introduce people and really teach them about the fucking benefits of ownership, and you see the resistance I'm being met with? Imagine freedom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead ass, though. Yeah. Yo, we could leave, no, my nigga. No, 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 stay yo, here. No, yo, stay here. I have a... I got a plan, I think. You've tasted that ownership. That could get us... Yo, we could... We don't have to live like this. Mm-hmm. It's more of us than them. And it would be <laughs> niggas telling me... No... Chill your ass out. Go out there and have to deal with the laws and find food and get shot and sad to be. Now you go. And that's why it's nothing wrong with people just being built different. I'm done fighting about it, yo. 
I'm, I'm, you will not get me at my big old fucking age to start convincing people what shit should supposed to feel like, yo. I can't. Hey, if you don't get it, you know better, you do better. Yo, listen. <laughs> if, if, if somebody never got no head before, you can't tell them how head feel. <laughs> You've owned some shit. You I can tell them. They not going to in, ingest they understand it, that. pause. Like, yo, fam, they not going, they never got it. So somebody that's never owned nothing and had any financial freedom. Yeah, Yo, you're so great at pod. They boy, don't know what that's boy, like. Boy, you work my fucking brain. No. Nah. You know what the difference is, ish? The difference is back in school, the nigga that never got his dick sucked, he wasn't trying to hide. Like, we knew that that was the nigga that never got his dick sucked. He wasn't blending in over here with, with niggas. I know, because that was me. Y'all niggas was doing nasty shit way ahead of me. I was still trying to figure out homework and drugs. <laughs> y'all niggas was out learning your bodies. Y'all had girls in school that liked y'all. These niggas is, you right, then shut the fuck up about ownership and the importance of it and what it garners and what it means. Then shut up about it. Be the nigga that never got his dicks up. Stop confusing it. Stop doing the consumer facing and making it seem like, it you know, just good. regurgitating some shit. It sounds good. Yeah, but f- fuck all that. Because niggas don't want to appear not know today. No, it sounds good. Yeah, it's, but it's a, but don't, you don't know that trendy. you still appear to not know. So you don't know what you don't know. Mm-hmm. You don't know what you don't know. In 2000 and whatever year that was where I was broke responding to some hating ass nigga on Twitter. And I just responded, oh, yeah, well, I made such and such after taxes. Take that, stranger. <laughs> I was probably high, right? And I thought I did something in that moment. I was lying, number one. <laughs> <laughs> and number two, if you was going to lie, nigga, lie to the max. Don't just lie with this bum-ass number. I made 700 grand. After. Nigga, shut up. You don't, the person that's doing the lie don't know. Until they get with a nigga. Who know? Who know? You know who know? The people that have passed that point of having to behave that way. But the masses. So why wouldn't you trust that fucking person, yo? That's what I'm saying. Yo, that's if you come true. back, no, let's do it. No, let's that's do it. You fucking gonna make me mad. We'll argue today. Argue we'll argue you. today. <laughs> Ish. If you, yo, you know what? I'm going to crack you. You're going to lose. Giving, you're going to lose. I'm giving them a heads you're up, You're going to lose. Go ahead. Yo, you know why you're going to lose? Because of real life, right? Mm-hmm. Me and you used to sit in a car on the way to the spot, and you used to, I used to say plain as day, yo, we too smart for this show. Indeed. A million of those conversations. That's what I'm saying. You smart, you smart round, <laughs> right? Get your shit off. I don't even want to do this. Give shit. it to me. Enlighten me. Teach it's me. It's going to hurt me more than <laughs> <laughs> No, I want to hear what you have to say on the matter, honestly. All right, personal. I feel like this per- is an astounding point. Personal situation. Uh-huh. Joe moves. Yeah. How many years ago? I moved mad times. The most recent? Probably about three. Three years ago. Uh-huh. He says, yo, I like the spot. I want to buy the spot. I said, now's the time to buy. What was your response? I don't remember. No, my white accountant told me this ain't the time. I said, "Yo, okay. your, your accountant is a fucking that. dodo. Don't he call crunches people names. He crunches numbers. <laughs> Jesus, man. <laughs> Yo, Jesus. He man. crunches numbers. He don't know real estate investing. Mm-hmm. Do it. Did you listen to me? Then no, but shortly after, so now, I said, "All right, this guy knows who's talking about." Because the numbers double. <laughs> so now I know what I'm talking about because the number literally nah, is double. No, 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 yo. No, nah, yo, you talking about numbers doubling. Quick, quick, quick story. Hold up. So that's like trying to explain ownership to somebody who never owned. Who never owned. Mm-hmm. They not going to listen. I do this. I told my man, do something. Right. He said no because somebody else told him not to. Mm. You right, but you're not. Right? Because in my... I was still searching for the information. I, I I passed step one, which is admit, I don't know. I don't know. This is not my field. Mm-hmm. So I was just getting information from different places and didn't know which way to go. Mm-hmm. So you're right. That was my position. Look at you. You're just going to take the white man word over my I was just getting ready to say that. You, you're talking to a person that do this, though, versus a person that don't. Well, I'm they talking white well, ice. I'm t- they genius. <laughs> I'm gonna let ice paint. I mean, I'm gonna let ice paint his little <laughs> picture. But it's just my friend who's a professional in his field versus somebody that I pay to give me this advice. So, like, it's weighted differently. Like, even if Ish is right, well, that presents a whole nother problem. Mm-hmm. 
No, you pay them for there, something there are different. Other you things. Pay, I was say you don't pay them for that, though. You don't pay them for that. You pay them for something different. Yeah. I pay for expertise. But anyway, my point about that is it's still me searching for the information and maybe having a hard time in, 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 in what to do. Admit it, I don't know. And this, in these ownership, talk, ownership talks, it don't be that. It it don't be people in search of the information. It's people just resisting the information. That's more aligned to me resisting whatever Bitcoin was doing when it was introduced to me in 2010. Hey, can I buy real things with this? Right. Like it's, some, it's more along the lines of that. Sometimes it, it, it could be who the information is coming from. Off facts. It could be Especially the messenger versus the culture. message. Now, if it's it's coming from you, eh, just no matter what you're saying, right, wrong, left, right. But because it's coming from you, uh, mm-hmm. but if he tell me, mm-hmm. oh, okay, and he could be completely wrong all the time. We that, see that, that happen is, a lot. That, that is one a lot. Of, that's one of and, the biggest, but this biggest is, categories. But this is what I was going to say to you uh, before you made your beautiful point. I haven't been with you step by step to see how you got all of your real estate expertise. I haven't seen that's that. That's true. If we both start at go... <laughs> Is, and I literally is watch this is you. Key. I'm looking step by step. I'm still at the strip club, mm-hmm. bugging. I'm mm-hmm. I'm stuck in this year. Mm-hmm. And you go just be great mm-hmm. or carve away or take the fight, the bumps and bruises, the duress that comes with whatever your path is. And now you come say something to I'm, me. I'm more apt to yeah. follow. You'll take that a little different. I'm more apt to follow. And that's, yes. what, that's where, unfortunately, in our culture, that's where the shiny shit comes in. Mm-hmm. That's where the shiny shit comes in because we pay a ton of attention to the shiny shit. Mm-hmm. You're right. So, Joe's my man. Mm-hmm. Joe knows I've bought houses since he's known me. Right. But I don't you really don't do, I don't do shiny shit. You don't do the right. shiny shit. If I pulled up car, in that motherfucking G Wagon and we went you from that shit the on. white van we to the G Wagon. No, we need a G Wagon. <laughs> <laughs> no, shit, they, they keep getting tougher they, and tougher. They, they, yes, they are. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Grab it. too. Grab my shit up. No, nah, come on. We got to do it one time for him. I don't speak French. <laughs> you, <laughs> nigga, you, you, no, you will be the first to get the Brabus G Wagon. Don't do that. All right, listen, here no. go this fly shit. Just in networking. Just no, not even in networking. I'm just standing outside smoking. Mm-hmm. And in these like little nice neighborhoods, like we joke all the time. Like, hey, my car is nice. Mm-hmm. And really ain't nobody moving around but too much. But at this particular moment, I'm outside smoking. This nigga's moving and shaking. Nigga pull up on me in the range in the range rover. Roll the window down. He's uh he's something else. He ain't black. <laughs> and he said, Joe, right? Yeah. He says, You used to um used to live down at that, that, that side. I said, Yeah. He said, I'm such and such. I remember I used to own a crib right up the hill over there one time you came in and you were looking at it, you were thinking about it. I was like, in my head, I'm saying, no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. I just like to look at. I just like to look. look at, I just like to look. I was nice. looking at it. Yeah, I was. Never was I thinking about it. I was looking at it, but I wasn't looking. Right. At it. It's my old habits. So I was I said, kissing it. Hey, how you doing, man? You have an amazing memory. That was enough for me. I was satisfied in the conversation. He continued, like most of these niggas do, boy. But I loved it though. He continued. I said, "You own that. You don't look but so old. How old are you?" He said, "His age." He said, yeah, that was back when I was doing um, doing apartments in uh, townhouses or whatever. I got this one, the one we talk about. I got this one for 2.5, and I'm putting a million into it. He said, I'm putting my mom in there. You lying. That one? Yes. I'm telling you something. Right Goodness now. Listen, he said, listen, he said, I'm, he said, I'm putting my mom, this for my mom. And right now I got her staying up here. She's on my ass every morning. And why do you say that to me? That that to me that's God working. Shut up, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, atheist Corey. You think humans made these moments? <laughs> How could this man not? I said, yeah, hey. As it turns out, hey, my mom is staying with me. She's on my ass too. I said, well, how'd you do that all this? How'd you do so like Cause he's just been buying shit up. Yeah, bought, bought this, flipped this, bought this. I flipped this, put this over there, put this. Just and he naming the shit. I can't get into it because it would give location. Mm-hmm. And he said, I don't even do that no more. Now I just do commercial real estate and apartments, small development, small yeah stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And my little 
Ho ass. See why you can't get mad at hoes? <laughs> Let me get your number, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. 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 Yo, I'm such a bird, yo. I am, yo. <laughs> yo, it didn't take oh, much, God. yo. <laughs> oh, man. Text me right now, make sure. I, text me right now, make sure I got it. <laughs> I'm going to text you right now until you lock me in. Lock me in, okay? <laughs> <laughs> lock me in, birds. okay? Oh, my God. Oh, man. This guy, yo. See? Fam, but why he stunned on me like that during a smoke break? <laughs> Yo, why are you telling me that you paid 2.5 and you putting a million into something? Know what's funny? I told my mom the same shit. She said, you mean he got rid of all that beautiful stuff that was in there? I said, man, you talking about all that old 80s money looking shit? Yeah, <laughs> get that shit right the fuck out of there, yo. No, but that means. She said, that was so nice. I said, man, no, no, no. You're looking at this wrong. This this is a this is a flip. Oh yeah, that's what he said. He said in a year and a half I'll get double. Hmm. No, I'll get double I what I paid. I was just about to say. So the number that they told you three years ago is damn near triple, considering that conversation you had with old boy. See, you gonna just go ahead and listen. And to you, <laughs> we gotta talk. Man. <laughs> now we you, gotta, I want to talk to you. We gotta talk. Nah, we gotta talk. Yo. I don't talk nah, to we you. gotta talk. We gotta here, talk, yo. All right. Come on, pull out the fucking meme, man. <laughs> black, black. We can't even put our money together for a bottle at the club. How can we get real estate? How can we get real estate? <laughs> yo, and anybody out there having a bad day or just feeling down about life? Oh, man. Yo, think of the guy that created memes who's just sitting home not getting paid for any of it. Right. That's crazy. <laughs> That's business. Slap some words on this shit. Damn, everybody using my shit. Meme. Oh, I got such a great correlation. I Who named it right a meme? Now. Fuck him. Him. Damn it. <laughs> and he's memed out. See, he was doing it for the art, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. He was doing it for the have, LOLs. Have fun. Have fun doing it for the art. At, at some point, you learn that there's business attached to the art. Hey, I came in that way. I, I understand came, niggas I that call away. me a hypocrite. I came in. Hey, the numbers are mean. I'm not thinking about that. I thought it's a art. It's just a beautiful. It's just a passion of mine. That's it. As long as I can live and breathe. Da, 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 da. I get it. <laughs> but then you keep seeing all the people that you make rich because of your carefree attitude mm -hmm. with your talent. You take it for granted because it's your talent. Mm -hmm. You do it so effortlessly. But no, enough of that. Enough of that. And that's just what separates, start to separate the shit. And I'm going to stop because I'm going to go on a whole different type of tangent. But this is what get me in most of my shit. And y'all not going to have me a slave to the Joe that y'all were introduced to or whoever I was back then. It's just not, nah, 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 nah. We can't keep doing business that way. It's not, it's not for you to be angry at, at Joe. I'm compartmentalizing. Like, our time was our time, whoever that is, whether it's an ex, whether it's a... Th we did what we did, and if we had a blast enough, I'm never going to say a bad word about you ever. Right. Uh -huh. That time is, like, encapsulated with me. We shared a space. But girls do this. Dudes do this. Fam, you moved on. They if didn't. they didn't move on, they still in that same... Again, you at level 10. Right? Y'all were at level 10. Pardon me. If you at level 20 and they still at level 10, they still thinking like level 10 thinking. They still moving and acting and running around on level 10. You might be at level 20 going to 25. You looking at 25 and 30. They looking at 11. So you, they still in that same mental space as well as the same financial space, a lot of them. That's why girls or guys, when the, when the, when the significant other leaves, mm. if they don't level up, they stay bitter. But if they level up, they see you like, hey, see your kid, you looking good, da da da. Because they leveled up. They with leveled you. up, right, right, right. If they don't ever level up, then they tight. That's the resentment. Because they didn't personally level up. I know, and I keep looking at it like the end of BMF with Meech and Big T. When Big T was like, yo, dog, this ain't my pal. I want to do something else. I'm designed, I got a kid. <laughs> like, I don't want, whatever we're doing, just lives and lives, I don't want to do this no more. Imagine, that scene really didn't do nothing for me because they're going to keep loving each other. <laughs> What is this? This scene does nothing for me. Somebody that you love wants to do things differently mm -hmm. than they've done it in the past. Now what? I'm going to shame you for it? 
or I'm going to try to hold you hostage to who I know you to be. Mm-hmm. I'm going to try to leverage some, some other shit to get you to behave in a certain... Yo, dog, is that ever going to happen with me? <laughs> no! <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. That's why I liked that at Shimbo last week. Like, that's who you want to be. You want to be that, that mm-hmm. person. And you want to have people in your corner that support whatever the whoever you want to be. That has to align. It got to align. That's why on that topic we was talking about uh, the Dirk interview when uh, Gilly and them niggas went out there. And I was sitting there saying, oh, I can't be in that. And y'all was like, why not? It's a move on. For me, it's, oh, I said that well, I can be in that, of course. I come from being in that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But where I'm going, maybe that's off thinking. I don't think so. I don't choose to be there. There was a point in time where when the, when the strip club was over, we, we was at the afties. Yep. Mm-hmm. Today, no way. <laughs> Never. I couldn't imagine it. Mm-hmm. I couldn't imagine it. In five years, I don't, if I'm just picturing myself, I don't want to be at the afties, yo. And I'm not going to be mad at nobody that still want to be at the afties. Of course not. Koi sitting right here, this nigga will tell you how miserable I was running around doing shows for $2,500 and doing hostings on Friday, Saturday. Now, I was miserable. Parks was there on tour. Yeah. I hated all of that shit. Facts. I hated all of it. Yeah, I wanted to try and do something different. Thank God it worked. Mm-hmm. But niggas skipped that part of... It could not. <laughs> it could not. And then when it worked, you just turn into the bad guy. Right. Somehow. For a lot. Like, nah, fuck that. Fuck that. There's nah, a, you can't. You can't. There's a lot of space between X and X and Z. I don't want nobody around me that's gonna try to make me feel ashamed of blessings. Mm. I know it's a lot of that going on. For women, they get to play around with the memes and the cap- the song lyrics. They get to do all of that shit. They call it being girly and catty. The second a man do it, they're gonna say, "Hey, nigga, act like a man." Mm-hmm. <laughs> Men can't do it. Mm-mm. So you got to peep the hurt differently. That's why I peep the, the game shit differently. Because it's hurt, you know? Where can he go be hurt? He got to go back to the block and be, be tough. He got to go to the studio and have all them niggas in the fucking studio. He got to go home and pay all the bills for his entire fucking family. Mm-hmm. He got to go be a dad to all his beautiful fucking children. When do you get to be hurt? It's a valid question. Men don't get that. Or yeah, so it has to seep. So it seeps out, it seeps out differently. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, see, it seeps out in other ways. And if you don't recognize that that's all it is, then you just don't know. You just don't know. But And I certainly don't fault nobody for how they choose to express their hurt. Nor do I know what anybody's situation is. I don't know what, what make niggas get out of bed. I don't know what make it's jump up and leave the pod right now. I don't know what make ice call out. I just don't know what, you don't know what nobody's shit is. Mm-hmm. I had a family fucking friend last last week <clears throat> hit by a tow truck, New York City. Shit. Legs gone. Mm. Damn. Hit and run. Fuck. Caught dude. 20. No insurance. Mm. Panic. No register. Too late now. Dude was such a stand-up dude at work. When he ain't show up, you just knew something was wrong. Your character speak for you. All that fuck, all that telling me you ten toes down. Your behavior gonna tell me if you ten toes down or not. Now that gotta be. Hey, we gotta tell a kid. We gotta. You don't know what nobody going through. It could change in a heartbeat. Niggas got real life shit going on. Mm-hmm. Only in hip hop do we want to focus on such minuscule shit. Oh, who wore it better? Hey, who did that? Look that nigga. Uh. Uh-uh. Y'all not going to keep slaving me to fucking hip-hop mentality because that shit is small and boxed in the way they want it to be. And if you don't get that, cool. no beef. <laughs> That's a rant. You preach. Sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wasn't mad that at was that good. One. I'm sorry. It was a quick rant. Um, all right, we had some other shit that I thought was important. Uh, y'all want to cover sports real quick or you want to get into it later? What do we have? A list of the highest paid hip hop artists of 2021. Jay Z, 470M. Kanye, 250M. Diddy, 75M. Drake, 50M. 
Wiz 45M, Travis 38M, Khaled 35M, M30 uh, 28M, Cole 27M, Tech 9 25M, Ty with Doja Cat with 25 and Birdman Nigga, with tw- with 25 M. Get into it, boy. Nigga, still Tech 9 still getting buckets. <laughs> hey, Wiz, not for nothing. Yeah. That that was the one that shocked me on the list. Yeah. Everybody I else it. I expect to be there. Wiz? I love it. That's that's amazing. Word. This is how this should look. This is how this this should look. Mm-hmm. I mean, Hove, Hove, yay, Diddy, Drake, to be expected. Same with Travis. Uh, you, could, you, could look at, you could look look yeah, you can look at Khaled and tell that tell. that's what's going on. Dre's not up there for the first time I've seen to be in the top ten. Dre's usually in the top ten. Yeah, that's interesting. Regardless if he got something coming out or not, he's typically in the top. Five, actually. I laugh because all these numbers are the <laughs> of the reported numbers. Guesstimate. Right. right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, moving on. What else is important? What else is important? Don't get me mad staring at all these niggas making 50, <laughs> 50 70, and $80 million a year. Like, that, that's not what I should stare at. Now I feel like I'm back washing cars on a Saturday <laughs> so on Prince Street. Yeah. No. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Ice, take it away, yo. <laughs> Come on, this your I'm shit. Like, Wake up. It this is your shit. It's my shit. It's your you're shit right, right here. Right. This is this falls kind of in my wheelhouse a little bit. Um, Yellow Beezy challenged the the murder rappers, the, the artists who rap about killing people, to join the service since y'all want to kill. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Wild, wild ass funny. Here's his statement. Let me just restate it first. All that killing y'all be doing over them beats. Go join the service. Your calling is finally here. You can finally prove to them fans you bout them lyrics. No. They've been well. Let me just tell you, Yellow Beezy, They've been proving to the fans that they bout the lyrics. Some of them silly because it's about it, about it. Yeah, they've been proved that far. We're not questioning that. Not just that. The dude overseas is not my op. I don't know him. He not. Might be cool. <laughs> he might be cool as hell. Might be my man. But this nigga right here. This that yeah yeah yeah. Wait, who didn't want us to go fight? I'm not Anybody? fighting nobody. I don't. What side are we supposed to Yo, be? If y'all couldn't get niggas to do jury duty, man, man <laughs> you, you can try your luck with this. I, I I hate to be the one to tell you. Yo, you're, dog. Not, you're not getting people to leave their fa- when when was that working? In the sixties? Who y'all got? My granddad with this shit? Yeah, oh, the yeah. draft? Yeah, yeah, yeah y'all, the, not, y'all not drafting niggas. Hey, yo, imagine <laughs> if they tried that right now. Uh, huh? Imagine if they tried the that. The draft? Right. Wouldn't go well. Just imagine. You see what they did over in over in uh, Ukraine? They won't let the men between a certain age leave the country. They get into it over there, though. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like men, they get between I forget the age range. You cannot like women, children. Y'all can leave. Y'all can get out of here. Men, y'all have to stay here because y'all gonna have to strap up. And that's ten toes down. They get into it. They got all their toes not, down. Not that, they got every man, I saw, the, I saw toe a down. video of a dude. They had a mine. In the street, I seen that too. He got so out and my man got out shit. and picked the mine up and walked it with a cigarette so that, dangling, yeah, dangling with a cigarette. His mouth. <laughs> you lying? I swear no, to God. dead ass. So that they, their military vehicles and stuff can still get through. They changing the signs over there, like go back to like the street signs, like on the highway. Be like rushes back this way, motherfucker. Like, <laughs> no, they, yeah, shit. they they bout it. They, nah, bu- they, bu- they, they outnumbered out by a lot, and they getting to it. Thoughts and prayers to everybody going through that horrible situation For over sure. there. Terrible. For sure, we'll say that. Yeah, it's terrible. Anytime masses of people just getting murdered, yeah, it's nasty. It's just yeah, disgusting. Yeah, it's still the way to word it. Word it. Yeah, we don't need no outstanding music. Nah. I'm, I'm not playing it. Uh, right. No, but um, we we kind of I meant to say some other stuff when we were talking about um when you start leveling up and you kind of start leaving people behind or people start feeling the type of way. Yeah, when you leave them behind, um, we were talking off mic about Bel Air. Uh-huh. In the latest episode of Bel Air, Will had his man come from Philly. So they got in some shit in Philly, and the kid that they got in some shit with, spoiler alert, died. Mm-hmm. Which is, you, you, you ain't watching it yet? I haven't seen it. You going? You going I am going to watch it, though. Yo, nah. Be, be this clear. Is, this is one of them. I was joking, one of them. I was joking one on of one of them older pods about Bel Air, but I am going to watch no, it. No, this and is, Jeffrey Roll, this is that's one when of it's going to get them. tricky. Yo. But... Um, Will had his man come to Bel Air. Yeah. How many episodes of this, of this is out? Five. 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 five oh, shit. Yeah, five. Yeah, they moving. So, um, Will had his man come from Bel Air. Uh-huh. Cool. 
So he shows his man around. Shit is dope. Super fly. So. Mistake. Yes mm, and no. Mm. He brought his man out there to protect him from the killer in Philly. The killer dies. Oh, I like Bizarro Belly. No, 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 no. No, nah, listen. Ish, ish. No, no, no. <clears throat> the killer died before he even got out there. No, no, listen. The killer died like right when he was about to come okay. out there. All right. So he still comes anyway. So he's like, yo, now you could come back to Philly. Blah, blah, blah is dead. We're going to be back. The team ain't shit. We need you. Da, 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 da. So yeah. Will says, yo, kind of thinking about staying. So his man's like, what? He's like, yo, I don't really kind of like the opportunities that I see now here mm -hmm. are plentiful. Right. So I'm kind of thinking about staying. His man blasted him like, yo, you just going to stay here rich, nigga, and you're going to leave me in Philly broke. Fuck you, blah, 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 blah. Like all selfish shit. Yo, the team ain't shit. You going to just leave the team stranded and abandon the team? So I'm supposed to go back to West Philly mm. and turn down all these opportunities. My father about to be the DA. My uncle about to be the DA. His sister is a heavy content creator. Just opportunities there that he's never seen in his life. Right. Right? And and the people that could basically be a catalyst to get you to a next level of success. Mm. His man blasted him for that shit. So to to make full circle to the points where we were talking about, like, yo, dog, sometimes there's people around you and they not really trying to level up or they can't level up and they tight at you because you busting your ass to do so. Right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And it'd be the, your closest... His mother felt the type of way. Gonna, yeah. His mom's felt the type of way. He his called his mother and mm -hmm. said, yo, you might think about staying. And she was kind of tight. She was having a conversation with Aunt Viv. And she was just like, nah, he, he, what you mean have him stay out there? Like, no. He coming back to Philly. He comes back to Philly. Also, Peacock, quick 25, 30 million subscribers. <sighs> quickly. Rather quickly. They doing great shit over there. Shout out to Peacock. I fuck with, fuck but with also, Peacock. listen, back, back to y'all point. Like, like you said, leave behind. And I, while I understand what you're saying, I just don't like that term. It's a bad term. It's a bad because right? you don't have to be left behind. Because it's back to our argument we used to have with Ice. Right? Ice used to come in here and be like, "Yo, I'm fine with certain shit. I'm content." Right. And we used to be like, "Well, how do you know? You don't. You don't know." Huh. So it's creative differences, is what I'm gonna call it. Like, you just have a different path for what you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. And I have a different path for what I'm trying to do. But I'm going to pursue mine. I, not even that. I think that sometimes... Even if that's by way of Philly and moving to the mansion and creating a better space yeah, but and you opportunity don't, you don't for myself. You don't even know that's a lack of information exactly. until you get out there. Like that's Will true. said on the show, one thing, it was even, I don't know if it was a conversation with his aunt, somebody, but he was like, yo, I'm realizing there's more to life than these 12 blocks. 12, of, 12 yeah. no. I didn't know that his there was mother more said outside. It. His mother said it to him. When she was trying to convince him to go to L.A., she said, Will, you need to experience something outside of these 12 blocks of West Philadelphia. Right. It was college-ish. No, no, in the beginning, it was college. It don't matter. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, listen, the point is the point. So the, yeah, the when point. he comes back and calls his mother and she's trying to make him come back home, he then takes her shit and, and says, right Mom, to you told me I need to experience opportunity and adventure outside of the 12 blocks of Philadelphia. Mm. So when Joe said in the beginning when Ice used to come on here, and I used to, I've told Ice this off camera, dog, when the opportunities start presenting themselves and you start getting more money, your thoughts change. Mm -hmm. Like you can't be mad at Ice because Ice knows what he knows. Or even anybody if it's not money, exposure. Because you might not exposure. have the money yeah, you yeah, can yeah, be yeah, exposed yeah. to. True, 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 yeah, yeah. true. So, um... I think the lack of information sometimes, even our baby and them argument, the baby and Jay-Z argument. I think that when Jay-Z and them reached a different demo, the opportunity started to arise. And now my exposure to different shit changes my overall mindset. Mm -hmm. Not just the money, but... What did they have to do with the baby? I didn't remember the argument. Because I'm, you were saying like baby didn't do X Y Z, and I said, oh yeah, baby, not baby. the baby. The no, baby's no, a whole different. No, person. no, baby. All right, baby, got it, got baby. it, got it. So again, I just think, and that's one of the best things I say with with, with black people. Like, if you went to school with all blacks all your life, mm -hmm. I encourage them to go to a white college, and vice versa. If you went and you grew up in a suburb with a bunch of white people, I think you should go to an all black HBCU. I think people should experience diversity. I think the mm -hmm. diversity in the in in. The, the information that you're now privy to makes you an overall better person, makes Absolutely. you more well-rounded. 
Absolutely. And that diversity, you're going to need it in the real world. That yes. is true. You hear what I'm saying? Yes. So I think that this is Will's shot at being from West Philly, going to be around these rich motherfuckers in L.A., and I just think it's dope. You have to meet whatever your fate is. You have to meet the universe halfway. Like, Indeed. You, have, you still have to... It's big. You still have to make the right decision when faced with the blue and red pill to even get you where you... Like, I was in New Jersey for X amount of years. I never knew anything about an alpine. Mm -hmm. What is that? Mm -hmm. Until I was exposed to a little bit more. And no, I didn't have the money to purchase an alpine. Well, now I know what that is. And now that I've seen it and heard about it and been around there... Hey, maybe for a stretch of my life, I want to purchase a home in Alpine and live out there mm. and be next door neighbors with some of the celebrities and the network. Now, when you go to get the paper, you can have a money talk right. in the morning. Mm -hmm. Some of that shit, like I just said, when you step out the house and a nigga start talking about real estate and what he did over here, uh -huh. like the same shit, but you don't even know the value in that stuff. If you don't know it. If you don't know it. The same as uh, the dude uh, that said he paid $5 million for the for the Bugatti, but... Made thirty million from the conversations and the clientele, like it's the same exact. It's just the same shit. That's true. Mm -hmm. So everybody got to learn that different. If you, if you don't learn it though, you don't learn it. I'm not never mad at nobody for whatever their decision is right. for yeah. themselves. Because yeah. you got to live with that. You got to sleep at night. Mm -hmm. What's the universe shit you said? That was pretty good. Was Meet the universe you're a, halfway. You're a rapper. Shut up. No. <laughs> yeah, but you got to meet that the was, universe. No, that was dope. They, could, they could put every opportunity in front of you. Yo, we do this in Monopoly, right? Sometimes, hey, a nigga get mad, good deals. You just lug up land on all the f fucking spots. You just get everything you need to do. But now you want to get clever. <laughs> you want to get tricky. Yo, the game right in front of you. <laughs> right. It's telling you, buy that, buy that, get him out of here, get him out of there, game over. But no, we start, in our minds. Start overthinking some shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's like, yo, and that's why I say everybody just got to do what's best for them. I can't speak for what nobody's situation is. But it's going to always be creative differences. Mm -hmm. Always. Because yeah, people want different things in life. Art is art. It's unique. Mm -hmm. It's one Parks. It's one Joe. It's one ish. How niggas see things mm -hmm. is how they see it. Mm -hmm. But it's how we come together. How do we work in concert and unison? Can we align? Can we escape the room together? Can right. we get past this little? Right. Can, yeah. can we get past yeah. this little trick? Right. This little mm -hmm. task right here. And mm -hmm. often, because we've never had shit, right? I'm talking about uh, black, black, our culture, blacks, us. Mm -hmm. We've never had shit. Sometimes we don't know how to respond when our man is exposed to it, or when we get exposed to it. We don't know what to do. We might go shoot our man. <laughs> it happens. We've seen that 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 story before. It ain't. It, it don't be so much congratulatory shit. It be a mm. lot. It be a lot to handle for people. But because, then it's like, what do you do in that spot? Because all you can think about is you staying at that same level. Mm -hmm. Yo, I could go war story for war story with the best of them. Like, if we just start talking about history and our past and our experiences and what we've been through, our, our rock bottoms, like our darker moments, I could go back and forth with whoever's out there. Why would you want to do that? Mm-hmm. Like, if you really experienced that and been through it, why the fuck would you be planning? My kid would be 21, yo. <laughs> I don't look at shit the same as I did when I was 31. I'm not just living for me now. Nigga, my sure. daughter just turned living two, for me. and I'm in the same mindset. No, you ain't in the same. These little 20-year-olds, these niggas talk and ask for shit a whole, whole lot <laughs> no, more. What I'm saying, God though, is... damn it, they don't stop. <laughs> what I'm and they is... can interpret your face when you want to say no, but you don't. They looking at you right on FaceTime. No, I'm just saying <laughs> it's different in living one way and now you realize there's a life that depends on you. That's what I'm saying. It is different. It changes your whole mindset that fast. Every decision I make that I made before, I might have made differently before my daughter was born. So? Uh, he's right. Of, no, course, of he's course, course he's right. Oh, let me he's try right. to suppress the rant. <laughs> oh, it's coming out. <laughs> oh, oh rant is coming. <laughs> but you're fucking right. Yes, he's right. Ice's daughter's and we're gonna I'm taking it off of I'm taking it off of parents and children. And now I'm just talking about niggas that lean and niggas that don't. Niggas that rely and depend on, 
can't get traction going, can't get it moving on their own. Y'all don't try to turn this into a shot. This is a productive black male and parks conversation <laughs> that we have it. But what my point is, those people will never view things the same. Mm-hmm. Nah, that, that. I went through a stage where it was okay that I could borrow the amount of money that I needed from anybody in my network. I went through a phase where that was okay. And then it wasn't. <laughs> the phone keep ringing. People get busy. You'll get to a spot where you need to have your own back. Mm-hmm. And only your back. Self-preservation time. Those people not never going to view it the same, yo. It's a bunch of people out there with like creative differences just in how you go about viewing business, handling business, receiving business. And enough is enough of this shit. Because when Joe has enough, know what he do every fucking time? Document it over the years. Get up and go get it. He just get up and go. (laughs) I don't try to bring nobody with me, convince somebody or something. I pick myself up and go and take what falls with that. There's some people out there, we laugh and joke about relationships with romantic relationships where somebody might not be, might not be happy, but you can't leave because it's convenient. Mm-hmm. You, can't, you can't leave. You're going to sacrifice some of that happiness because you know the first is the first every fucking month. Mm-hmm. That ain't me. <laughs> That ain't me. I've slept in parks. I've slept in cars. I've slept in Dill's one room Belvedere Ave Jack. <laughs> With Hill figure jackets hanging there. Give me that jacket. Nigga, let me look good when I go out. They ain't gotta know we sitting here sleeping like this. I'm just saying it's men out there. Yo. And that's ten toes. See, to me, that's ten toes. You ain't gotta say it. You could just see it. You could just see it through the action. There's no manipulation. There's no agenda. I'm out. I'm taking whatever comes with me. No spades in the hand. Let's play the fucking hand. I might get four. I got three aces and a king. My partner, nice, he might let the queen queen, rock. queen mm-hmm. something go. Mm-hmm. We could get mm-hmm. these niggas, yo. That is the difference. No, I lose respect for niggas that don't have that, like, nigga thinking. That nigga, that nigga shit where you tighten it up and just get up and go fucking get it. You know what it is? A hey, lot of times, a niggas never had to. And that's why they don't have it. They yeah, never they never had now that 50% shit was a bar. They never had to. That, that you gotta meet the universe halfway. It's so niggas calling me a thief not really that working. missed work that missed somehow missed me working nine jobs. You missed it. In hip hop only do we look at the surface shit. You can't call a nigga that that's tightened his belt that way and went out there and just got it. Nine different times. But I won't judge you for it because we all was mad. We all, you all get mad. You go, you go through some, my first record deal, I was mad. I wasn't the only one. My first record deal, we ain't like it. Hey, it wasn't enough. Know what you do? Go get it. <laughs> go get it till that ends. Some of the niggas that just ain't go-getters ain't going to understand what I'm saying. It's going to sound like lunacy to you. But until you get the fuck up off the porch and got to go do it, Man, don't fucking talk to me, man. You know how many niggas I take care of? You know with all of them, the number can't go lower? <laughs> That's a goal. Like, don't really get to talking in here, yo. If I was really getting... Oh, man, let me not do that. I might trigger y'all niggas. Come on, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> niggas got kids, child support... <laughs> Baby mamas that might not. Niggas got real. Niggas stole from you? Yo, man, don't insult me, yo. Don't insult my work ethic and how I've gotten to it for so long, man. One of these days, I'm going to tell the truth. Come on, move on. Where we at? Come on, y'all can get me riled up. Yeah, we don't need you riled up. No, 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 good. (laughs) But but when we say riled up, I think because of my history, people think that I'm going to just start. (laughs) But no, yo. No. I get it. Just some shit. Shut the fuck up. It's okay to say, y'all don't even know. I don't know. Only here do we just got to pretend to know. I want facts out of hip-hop so bad. Facts, yo, that's facts. Yo, that's facts. You niggas are liars. <laughs> it's lies and lies and lies. And it, you know, it's facts, and a nigga can't pursue the facts no more. Oh, no, you said that. You said facts. No, you said facts. It's facts. I mean, you can't question. Huh? 
You fucking ignorant. Get me the fuck away from this shit, yo. Just get me out of here. Put me with adults. Put me with adults or smart shooters. <laughs> Put me with niggas that got shit to lose. Put me, put me with some niggas that identi- that had to go, that, that, that just understand, get it. That just get it. And the ones that don't, send them niggas somewhere else, man. But leave me out of it. I'm going to get to a point where it's like Cardi B. Cardi B told Shay Ramon, hey, stay, stay me off your fucking platform, you fucking motherfuckers. Y'all hate me. Stop talking about me. <laughs> all of them. She told all the blogs that. I feel the same way. Stop monetizing off my likeness. Yeah. Y'all don't fuck with me. Y'all don't post nothing positive. Why y'all just get, I know how your business works. Keep my name off of that shit. And it worked for a little bit. I think they pieced it up. But anyway, moving on. Moving on. Where we at? Uh, y'all want to get into Excess beefing yeah, online. That's where I was going. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, we've seen this play out on the on the timeline over the last couple of weeks. Like, I've, I've seen exes just firing at each other. Like. You got to love when they make it public. No, you don't. I know. I, I love it. <laughs> I love when they make it public. It'd be funny sometimes. I pray people never stop bringing their shit to the timeline. Like it just makes it entertaining. It's a great show to watch. I might disagree with your tactics, but I'm gonna watch. Fuck that. I don't watch that channel. No, I'm gonna watch that channel. <laughs> Yo, dog. To <laughs> me, that up. I think it's the ugliest shit on the planet. I think it's the most immature shit on the planet. Yeah, well, it is. Of course it is. Yeah, we're we're agreeing with you. I just think you're a classless doof airing your 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 your, your dirty laundry. Or your clean laundry. I just think it's whack. It's my personal opinion. I think, Park, you agree. I agree with you. I don't want to see it, but I'm going to watch it and but laugh. if you're going <laughs> to do it, I'm not going to turn away from it. I'm going to watch. That's all I'm saying. One of my favorite things to watch. Yeah. Really? They're good. People doing something online they're not supposed to do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. It's a, it's a business in that. And it's just fun to watch on a Sunday afternoon. Mm-hmm. No shit, what he did to her. <laughs> she going, she going off. <laughs> you can always tell kind of like who who fucked up just by how they're both handling it. You kind of kind of clear there. One is harboring a little bit more, so they shooting a little harder. The other one is peacefully moving about their day. Like, oh, you got some unresolved shit over there. You mad because whatever. S- something. Yeah. Whatever you mad at. Yeah. But yeah. I personally I don't I don't want to call you. I, I ain't got a dollar for the cup. I don't say the word. But a lot of you dudes are acting like the cup. <laughs> like you can't love somebody and then turn around and shit on them for like appearances and like, for what they look like. Oh, no. Nah. That, that's what you saw this week? I saw that. Oh, uh, that's kind of crazy. That's it's hurt. Nuts to me. It's just hurt. Yeah, See, yeah. it's hurt. It is hurt. If you learn how to read hurt, you'll understand most of this shit going on. It's hurt. But that's why I'm saying it is hurt. It Take is hurt. your L's privately and peacefully. Close your bedroom door, lock it, close the drapes, and take your L without telling the phone or following. <laughs> Yo, there's no hey, we all taking L's. True. We yeah. just don't have to show them all. We in this era. That. We in this era where they want to broadcast the L's, the wins. Just everything has to be broadcast immediately. Everybody feels like they are the, the, the Truman Show, where everyone's tuned into your life. This we goes, don't care. This goes into the young girl with the uh, with the Uzi on TikTok. What happened? Fifteen year old girl uh, was in her grandparents' house in in Mexico somewhere. Found the Uzi. Was holding it and having, I believe it was her brother, take a, a TikTok video for her. And it actually ac- accidentally discharged and she's no longer with us. Damn. And a few weeks ago, I don't remember where, a dad left uh, his five-year-old and nine-year-old just by himself. They found the gun, one shot the other one. This wasn't fatal. But I watched the news too much. I don't remember where it was, but yeah. A five and a nine? Mm-hmm. Year old. Kids. <sighs> but I'm just I just brought it up because it went with your point but, no, about no, yeah, just, just recording that, everything, just record Truman show. Yeah. That's how how powerful it is mm-hmm. that the girl in Mexico wanted to put it on tape and have somebody view it. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that some shit you know you ain't got no business doing. Shit I did when I was little, I ain't want nobody to see. 
I'm a sneaky little motherfucker. I ain't, you ain't going to record me being and, sneaky. And what they're saying about this particular area of Mexico is they are so um, in love with narcos and that... El Chapo on them. Yeah, that, that subject. Uh-huh. Like, people are imitating that. Like, that's the hit thing out there. So, to anything to look like that is what they're doing. Ta- so, she sees a gun. Ta-da. That's yeah, crazy. so she sees it's a gun too. and it's like, oh, good, yeah, I can true. look like I'm in narcos. And, yeah. It's here, too. It's everywhere. We got here from a fun topic somehow. Word. <laughs> I just want to point that out, how effortlessly no, y'all right, get though. serious. Like, like, you got on the, on the subject for just everything being recorded and just everyone trying to broadcast everything to the internet. Like, I'm starting to think the internet might have been a mistake. I've been thinking that for a couple of years now. Like, I know there's a lot of good come from it, but I think the bad outweighs the good. I don't agree with that, but I think it's a deep dive, but I don't agree with that. Y'all gonna find the deep dive. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to move on and not even respond. Yeah, we can, we can move on. Okay, so great. Let's move on. The ex boyfriend that is slamming his ex girlfriend on the internet, do we allow him the benefit of the doubt and say that maybe throughout the course of the relationship, he just started to see things for what it is with Shorty and now he's just making it public? See things for what it is. Maybe, uh,. It's this hard piece of crust in the lower left side of her lip that just won't move. It's stuck there. Missed it underneath the club lights, but you, your wife now that we're here, I can see it. Still, yeah, but I didn't see that before. Still no? I don't know. Yo, I ain't, yo. Dog, these... I ain't see that your whole, like the whole, like four back teeth was missing in a row. Like, yo, now you, I'm starting to see it. You wife though. I'm starting to, see, but I start, I'm starting to see things for what it is now. Nah, you just tight. So you now you want crack? <laughs> you cracking on it now, yo? You wifed? That be my thing. I didn't see it before, yo. The same time when the girls be like, "Oh, he got a little dick." You was fucking with him for four years. Oh, tongue kiss. Huh? Just, just, just tongue kissing. <laughs> a lot of it, and a lot of eating. <laughs> a lot of eating, buddy. <laughs> you little little dick niggas keep a bib on. Yeah, what, so whatever he was, go- you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I just think it's corny. I think it's that, super corny. It is. I think Shitting that, on your ex's looks is crazy. What? In any, mean, t- any type of way. You wife her. Yo, anything that happens in, and this is my opinion, I really stand oh, by this. No, God. look, any judgment. Like, if, if you're a dude, mm-hmm. we all been off the porch a long time. We but all been in the game a long time. Mm-hmm. You would. You would hope that your judgment allows you not to pick a dodo. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. So now, you. if you pick the dodo, you got to be mad at yourself. <laughs> if you pick the bird, you got to be mad at yourself. Yeah. For what lack mean, of judgment. No, she was nah, her shit fire though. You got to <laughs> like, nah, the fire get you nah, low. Nah, you know. The birds do be fire. So cloudy. You know that shit is fire. The bird I be fire. I wouldn't care if the it was a inferno. Down me, you wife him. Sometimes you might accidentally yeah. wife them. Yeah, I mean, I've been there where you're not wifing them, but you're making them think you are. So, <laughs> yo, <laughs> I mean, it gets, a, it gets hello. <laughs> that is Joe Budden. That's not Joe Budden. Why are you snitching? <laughs> yo, niggas love snitching. That wasn't even Joe Budden. <laughs> Who was it? Our guest. Here he is. <laughs> he just came yo, in. You Welcome, said, you said. Yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Oh, man. No, I'm, I, don't I don't think that you me. should. I don't. I don't I just think for men, particularly, like women do that. I don't think it's okay, but it's a, women do that. They'll get on there, slander their ex, and all of that shit. I don't think as a dude, you fight, you fire back. Y'all never. Like, I'm sorry. I'm laughing at y'all now. Y'all, y'all never gave somebody the wifey experience that wasn't wifey. Hell yeah. Thanks. Yes. Okay, great. What? All right, the fuck y'all laughing. That was part that, of the game. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Scratch a little beard, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you got beard butter on, still scratch. scratch. <laughs> Your shit looks smoother than ever. <laughs> That's a fresh line though too, ain't it? Nah, you know what he doing. <laughs> nah, we got a podcast group function. We hitting after this. All of us gonna be together. <laughs> What's wrong with this guy? Man? Oh man. Oh, come on, come on. Let's move oh, on. What else? What else experience. important? I never even heard of that. I'm just sitting here listening. You to never y'all. did. Yes. You know exactly. Come on, Stacey. That's the. I'm, I'm asking y'all what that is. I can't ask y'all what that is. You, Nigga, if you, you know that fiends <laughs> clean the car good, <laughs> then you know what this is. But we'll indulge. We'll, we'll indulge. Come on, tell them what it is. Right? You ain't never been... 
you're doing some shit with Shorty that you would usually only do with your girl. He know what time it is, man. But she's not your girl. Brooklyn Chop House just opened in Times Square, man. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, what we talking about? Yeah? Why, what we did? <laughs> <laughs> yo, I want to talk about him so bad, yo. I be letting him live. I want to talk about him so bad. That's his problem. Go <laughs> ahead, keep having no, fun. I'm not having fun. <laughs> I'm at work. You better chill out. I'm not having you, fun. You better stop making work look fun. <laughs> I'm at work. Sitting no, I'm miserable. <laughs> <laughs> nigga leaning out. Nigga getting skinny. Mm. Nigga, That's stress skin. Uh, nigga skin. got the scotch and soda, a little light blue. <laughs> Carolina blue kicks, hottest Ooh. nigga on the block. <laughs> Used to Willie bicycle since I was, huh? Uh, ice with it in the air. Come on, yo. You better, you better mellow it down. I am chilling. Hey, this is just like Goodfellas. He told them niggas, yo. Don't buy no furs. <laughs> don't buy no cars. <laughs> Why don't y'all just chill out? Mellow Give me 90 days. Whatever he said. Mellow on out. Think they listen? The nigga came in with a Cadillac talking about, I said her mama name. <laughs> Yo, she came in with the fur coat on. He took that shit off her back. <laughs> How you let another man take your wife fur off? <laughs> <laughs> Yo oh, oh man Snowfall came out Y'all liked it? Started a little slow Started Yeah I hate y'all yo. Why? I, it is Cause every first episode Of something Y'all said this ain't That was kinda episode. slow This is season four or five this, I don't think it started slow episode. I think that shit was on a track meet I'm with you The bro. last two seasons Started off fast on This one too He murdered motherfuckers In the first I th- well, Only thing I didn't like About this episode mm. They put too much of a gap between where they left off and where they picked up. It was a lot of space in the middle, like a lot of growth, a lot of everything. Yeah, and I'm still trying to figure out who his girlfriend who, is. Where she come yeah. from? I don't know who she is. Who She's pregnant. You? He love her. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, did I miss something? Uh, I don't know that is. Jerome got Versace on. Like, what the fuck we miss, <laughs> my nigga? You went from the track jacket to Versace? I, that's my whole thing. Like, I, I they just jump. He owned businesses. He got offices and all of that. Mm. He know how to fly a plane. Yeah, that one fucked me up. <laughs> you fucked me up. That one nigga. fucked me up. I said, "Whoa, whoa, would you? You just flying a plane too?" That's my whole thing. Like, I think it's too much growth in between. They could have had damn near a whole another season to get him to where he at now. Well, that's the first thing I said when I saw it. I was like, "All right, buddy, black pilot. All right, <laughs> search, search that plane." <laughs> Yo, some of the industries they don't love us. They don't. <laughs> Moving along, I enjoyed I enjoyed Snowfall and will continue to watch. Oh yeah, I'm still watching. Let me get my old nigga news out of the way. Hey, somehow Steve Steve Harvey Court Show is gone. Y'all better bring it back before I go get a, a gown and gavel. <laughs> <laughs> that that was a great Ill, idea, Judge Joe. Hey, dog. If they oh, get... and while I was outside on the break, Nori texted me. Oh yeah, L- please, love and light. Did he please tell me he said love and light? No. Nah. <laughs> Congrats. That's big. Ah. Did you reply back, Love and Light? No. <laughs> see, that's fucked up. You let him beat you to the punch. Yeah, see, that's why you should have did it. Yeah. That was a good one there, Nori. That guy's good. You. He was anticipating good. that. Let me get it. He's good, man. He's you got good. this shit out the way real quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not, with this nigga. I'm not waking up to a text from Joe, man. Shout out to Nori. Then Puff gave him a car. A. a what you call it over the weekend? Shit, yo. No, he didn't. <laughs> what happened? You Tell asshole me. Puff gave him a, uh, <laughs> a Maybach for his birthday the other day. <laughs> no, he didn't, ish. <laughs> <laughs> Even the young boys is like, no, he didn't. <laughs> no, break the story. <laughs> break the story. <laughs> nah, go ahead. Get your shit off. This is this is pause. the phone game pause. right now. Pause. 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 Why? No, pause. hell no. Tell Tell here, dog. Pause. 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 Break it. It's exclusive. <laughs> Do some air horns Hold and on, shit, no. yo. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, see, we, I, did I, you I play this with the sound <laughs> on or you just looked at the video? <laughs> yo, it's yo. Yeah, sure, you don't have to do this, oh, yo. Man, that's, how, that's how you know he be fucking during the week. <laughs> he don't have no time to do shit, but look at, oh, shit, he must have gave that to him. No, nigga, I, I, read, I read a headline that said that Puff gave a nigga a car for his birthday. All right, but well, what do you say to the people that say that you too intelligent to learn from the headline? We are talking about the internet era, motherfucker. What? Are you, what? 
You know how much I didn't shit say that. we come in here and it's, read? I, didn't, I asked you wrong. what you say to them, not me. <laughs> Never mind, bro. I ain't even going to get into that. That's before. Nori's car, though. And I guess technically you're right, because Nori works for Revolt. No, they didn't and say it like that. he pays them well. <laughs> so, And it's a beautiful car. <laughs> These niggas are turning Miami into something else, yo. Mm-hmm. These niggas just got a buy on Miami. Facts. As opposed to what? New York. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nobody want to live here? It's cold here. Okay. Touche. Yeah, you got a point. <laughs> I want to go to Miami. All of New Yorkers is down here. You know what I like In about Atlanta? You know what I like about Miami? <laughs> I love Atlanta. No, the yeah, New Yorkers is... The New Yorkers is... No, I was like, you, you know what I like about Miami? Like, Miami. <laughs> I would hate for everywhere I go. As was my last time in Miami. <laughs> that happened. Everywhere I went, I just kept bumping into Nori and everybody else. <laughs> went to Prime 112. They go Nori across the street with his jog gang. Hey, Joe. I'm like, oh, fuck. I wanted to, want to be alone right now. Hey. Yo, come here. It was like, all right. Got it. You run over that's here. Why, that's that's you why. You run in the puff. Yo, get over here. Nah, no. Okay. I just wanted to kind of be alone. Remember when Steve Stout was up here with us, he said, you, you go into that Miami. You come up there yeah, and play on the other Miami. You don't see none of them niggas. Mm. Level up. Get your Bitcoin up. No. Nah, Steve Stout is a different nigga, yo. <laughs> that nigga nah, was like, I don't see none of you niggas. Steve Stout. Just see what Damn he's sure did. Let's just see what he's <laughs> He doing. told you, yo, you playing on the wrong Miami. I don't have money like Steve Stout has, by the way. Just tell you what the man says, sir. I'm, I'm going to just call Steve Stout and see how much money he got in his pocket. <laughs> 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 They're going to say, why are you calling me right now? Mm hmm. If it's not about money. Yeah, if it's yeah, ain't about money, why? Wow. And a billion dollar meeting right now. <laughs> or Joe. Joe. You and your, get your regular Uber out of here. Call you later. <laughs> yeah. That's what he said. Ish. That is what he said. He's probably busy. Yeah, uh, yes, I think so. Just a wee bit. Leave a voice. Not, not gonna call back either. Probably don't see the phone. <laughs> In the shower. <laughs> Where the voicemail at, nigga? I was about to say, nigga. Nah, that's kind of crazy. That's a different, different phone. Different phone. That's that ain't that Star, Star Trek right there. This shit All right, now time. I hung up after 90 rings. That's the point. <laughs> if, if it's important yeah, enough, yeah, you wait. some billionaire yeah, phone yeah, he got going on. All right, listen, man. <laughs> Round of applause for our part of the show. It's part of the show. Part, part of the, the show. show. Hey, you dude, could hey, be a hey, part of the hey, show. Hey. <laughs> hey. Ice, you getting good, man. Hey, <laughs> hey, that's what hey ad libs is important now. Here, man. Ad libs is important. Uh, so listen, a few weeks ago, I don't know if that was here, Patreon. I don't remember. We had I don't a, remember either. We had it was, a, I think it was Patreon. It might have been Patreon. It was Patreon. Yeah. We had a young lady by the name of Denise mm-hmm. who said... Amical breakups versus pushing the relationship past expiration. For example, I'm currently trying to express to my husband that we should separate while I'm in the mindset that I'm not mad or feeling resentful. I feel like we would co-parent and be friends if the separation turns into divorce. But it's also possible that it could remind us both why we fell in love and miss each other. But maybe we should just live in separate homes. But my best friend, who's a guy, damn, I don't remember that bar. Mm-hmm. Yo, don't go asking no fucking dude about me, dog. Don't go asking your best male friend about me. Got to. Yeah, if that's a legitimate I bet not, best yeah, friend. But I, no, but you get the no. best information from the nigga that been I, around. I, I agree, but Especially I don't. Especially if he really Let just me keep your going. best friend. Yeah. But my best friend, who's a guy, he feels like we should work it out in the same home. That it will be tempting for me to get a new man. She says, I'm too damn busy for that. Or vice versa, which I don't give a damn. He ain't no saint anyway. He also made points about staying together would be the best uh, best and safest way to raise our kid. I have another layer to this question. Do y'all feel that some women plan their breakups? Or would you respect it more when it's not during an argument? My homeboy laughed when I told him I already started separating our finances. And for the past year, I made sure whatever shared debt that we had was paid off. So the only thing tying us together was a paper and our son. I think I'm being thoughtful and preventing him from doing something petty out of emotion. That was so compelling to us, audience, that we called Denise. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) 
And Denise answered and said, Hey. Hey. Can't talk right now. I'm out with my man. I'm out with my man. <laughs> Which left me a little confused. Then I tried texting her at another time. She was on a flight. <laughs> Denise moves around. I think Denise she's fine. That, Denise I think, I think she's fine. Denise getting that money. I can't ask her. But Denise getting So that we're money. gonna call Denise again. Mm. And really get to the bottom of what she's saying here. Hmm. Friend of the show, part of the show. Oh, she answers. You could be. Hello. Hello, this is the Joe Budden Podcast. May we please speak with Denise? Hey. Oh, you sound like your relationship oh, beating your ass. Man. Oh, what man. Happened? Damn, what he did. What oh. Happened? Oh, Yo, man. what happened, Denise, yo? I just cussed him out like an hour ago. Oh, oh man. But I just want to let. Last time we spoke to you, y'all was together out eating buffalo wings. Sushi. Sushi, dancing to music, oh. having a black... What happened, girl? Um, so I had a date because my best friend, he told me to, like, give a example of what I mean for a date. And I did that. But while we were out at dinner, he was lying and shit. I was just like... Hold up, hold up. Go wait, back. You said wait, what? Wait, wait. Wait, what? He was lying. He was lying about what? I asked him a question. I already knew the fucking answer, and he lied with detail. And I'm just like... That's the best okay. lie. You got it. Yeah. The best lie. You got to ask some details. Detail. details. Details make it so sound you mad at him? You mad at him for lying? Yeah, because it's like, why don't you just say, I don't want to do this, or I don't like this, or I would prefer to go a different route. Don't make it seem like it's not happening for a whole nother reason. Yeah, but why? I would prefer that. Honestly. Why you ain't? Yeah, but why you ain't just learn that from me cheating? <laughs> I don't care about the cheating. So what he lied about? He lied about setting up therapy. All right. So hold up, Denise. Yo, Denise yo. Let me ask you: When you initially wrote in, you said that. Um, you were already planning the amicable breakup. You had paid off the yeah. debt, and you had do- did all of those things. So your best friend, who's a dude, told you to discuss this over a date? No, he said, I need to chill. I need to show what's pissing me off, like show him what I want him to do. And I guess like give examples of how to step up in our relationship and what I need. And I did those things, okay. and I told him, we still need to do therapy, like, because you'll do these things for, like, five days, and then you'll go back to doing the same shit. And I want you to understand why I'm asking you to do more and why you should be doing more. Mm. How long y'all been in the relationship? Ten years. Married nine. You said ten years? Yo, take your ass home, yo. But we only been parents for, like, two. Hey, Denise, so get, your, get your ass back in the go house, home. yo. <laughs> you don't want to be out there yeah, in the streets. Go, go, go home, ahead. yo. Hey, Denise. Hey, D-Dot. You got a man that yeah, loves you, yeah. yo. Go go ahead back home, girl. It ain't ain't nothing, uh, ain't nothing out uh, here but us. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and niggas like us, Denise. And we don't want your best. We don't have the best interest, your best interest at heart. Like, okay, deal so with the lie from the nigga that you know and that you've been with and that loves you and y'all can work through it. Maybe he didn't call a therapist when he told you he would. But it sounds like he's committed to calling a therapist. I got to be careful with yeah, how I respond no, to you because I've been got, in this spot he before. Got, he got the therapist. He got the therapist. We did the one session. But then today, after the therapist told him, most men don't see the house is burning down until they see the fire. And the wife and the kids are leaving out the house and you just still sitting on the couch. And he said he understood that. But then today he was like, oh, uh, what are we doing on Friday? We are in the middle of selling a fucking house. I was like, we're unpacking the house and we need to get it ready to be put on market. It was like, oh, I'm well, I'm trying to go golfing with my friend and his wife won't let him go any other day. I was like, okay. And I was like, but we have a house to sell. <laughs> so go sell it then. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to why, 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 you, why <laughs> the fuck you bothering me for while I'm golfing? Yeah. Sell a house. Hey, Denise, don't listen to this fool. But Denise sounds well spoken. <laughs> <laughs> Go in there. She sell. said we got to pack the house up. She can pack it. Man, we're going to pay somebody to pack the house yeah. up. 
It sounds like he missed yeah. the other part of calling the therapist, which I, is you got to blow a bag mind. on your partner. I would not mind paying someone to sell the house, but he will not hire them. Uh oh, he expects like, me to hire them. Oh, we getting somewhere now, Denise. Mm. It sounds like Denise, you make more money. It than sounds him? like he's struggling. No, no, no. We both make good money. He's just lazy. Got pay. If Why do lazy. I got to call everybody? Because you want the household. <laughs> I'm on his side. <laughs> oh, hey. Hey, Denise, you make it sense, but yeah, let me let me try this from another angle. Your male best friend that's coaching you through keeping your marriage intact. It's just platonic, right? Yeah, we've been friends since like tenth grade. Oh, oh hell no! <laughs> well, I'm the only one reacting yeah. to that. Yeah. Tenth grade. Yeah. Get him hold the fuck on. out of here. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Fuck all my friends. It's not even like that. Get rid of him. You weren't supposed to say his name. Get rid yeah. of him. But get rid of him. I'm, I'm, nah, unco I'm uncomfortable with the nah, 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 you. Nah, nah, get rid of him. You bought Hell no. I don't have no nigga with seniority over me coaching you through how to stay with me. Get him out of here. I've been with you for you, ten you years. Better be lucky he coaching you how to stay yeah, instead of coaching you to yeah. leave. <laughs> I think. Uh, she said the nigga said, "Yo, y'all need to talk about it. You should stay with the nigga." That's what we say. Most of my girlfriends said, "Leave his ass." I hate girlfriend don't advice. Girlfriend. Don't I don't, I don't, don't, don't ever tell me the... about what your girlfriend say. They always wrong. Are they single, miserable, depressed? Okay. One of them is miserable, so I stopped listening to her because when she started telling yeah. me about her man, I was like, oh, no, girl. You yeah. should be leaving her. Yeah. But don't listen to her. I'm not going to, I guess I'm not going to compare her relationship to mine because what she's willing to put mm -hmm. up with and I'm not willing to put up with is different. Because I've had an example. I don't know if y'all saw my other um, submission. No, we ain't see it. What's your Instagram? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I might send it later. But I sent a submission about fathers, and I was just saying, like, I know what a man in a household is supposed to act like and do, so I'm not going to put up with someone that's not doing the things that a man should be doing. Oh, so this stuff is basically yeah. So you saying y'all been together ten years? Y'all had a baby only two years. Mhm. Mm this based around all baby stuff for the most part. Y'all were happy prior to. Yeah, like I mean, as far as what I do, I can handle myself. I've been always very independent, but when it comes to like being a father and what you should be doing in a household and setting an example, I don't feel like he's doing that. Is it both of y'all first child? Like, he come home and he be like. Damn. What you what chore you want me to do so I could go out and play versus I know what I'm supposed to do around the house. Like I don't want to be your mom. Like you should know what you should be doing around the house. You should know what you should be doing with your child. Like I don't want to manage you and, and manage our child. child and manage the household no. and manage going to school and manage making this money. I understand. And manage like that's too much. No, I understand what you're saying now. I think this help is so extent I gotta DM you to help. I can't, even, I can't even respond on the air. <laughs> like, yo, it's she laughed. Yo, Denise, there's so much I want to say to you, but we speak in public. I have so much help to offer you. I've been through this. I mean, just stay on the line. <laughs> oh, oh, please. <laughs> Stop this. Yeah, give me a joke. We got to help her. I know. I, I'm trying. <laughs> hey, Denise, drop that man. zero. <laughs> get with this. All right. He got a year and a half, and I'm done. Oh, a year and a half? A year and a half? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> huh? Denise, you ain't going to Denise. Away. Chill out. Um, yeah. Yo, you stupid, though. Denise, <laughs> I can't, it's nothing I can say. No, nah, if this stuff is predicated on a kid, it just sounds like he wasn't ready to have a kid. You said he's he comes in the house and says, yo... Tell me what chore you want me to do so I can hit the streets. Hey, you know what to fix that nigga up? Step out Basically. on him. Step out on him one good time. <laughs> All the chores will get done. Hey, Denise. Hey, Denise. Please Joe don't ain't got no bell Joe. money. Joe don't have no bell money. Don't listen to Joe, Denise. I'm, I'm telling you how to get the chores done in the house. Once there's another nigga around. Hey, make sure you wear different sneakers, too, like some weird shit, like New Balances. Something your man just can't fathom. Yeah. He go right. get them dishes done fast. He might oh, go from not. cutting grass to cutting your ass. Don't listen to Joe, yo. That's not funny. Nah, Denise got this, yo. Because you got a male best friend. I He'll be there in a heartbeat. He get 10th grade best friend, dude. How tall is your best friend? <laughs> it don't How matter. Tall? Yeah. Six, five. yeah, he's short. He's shorter oh, than he's my short. man. It don't matter. Oh, he's short. 
Um, Denise, is, sure is niggas this... be trying to infiltrate. Yo. Oh, get, away, get away from my relationship. <laughs> Denise, is this uh, both of you's first child? <laughs> Yeah, it's both of our first child. And we tried like for like six yeah. years to have him. So it wasn't unplanned. No, he's just not accustomed to yeah. not being a father. Mm. Be patient. Be patient with that, yeah, that please. king. Please. That's a, it's a learning curve. And you're going to be a year and a half. She said a year and a half. Give give that man this, a year and this, a half, yo. This child is two. How long is a learning curve? That's life? still early. But how old how old are you, if you don't mind, how old are you and how old is your husband? We the same age. In our 30s, early 30s. Early 30s. Sound like you still yeah, might be in Yeah, he's a, still out. Like, yo, yeah. you, and he makes a decent amount of yeah. money. He goes he used to the in his change. early 30s. He's just not used to being uh, committed in that in that fashion. Denise, it sounds like you might still be in a vulnerable place by the time the tour gets to Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> Come, what part? What part? Of <laughs> <laughs> Whatever part she had, we gonna go check it out, man. <laughs> Denise, I don't think we offered any help, but I certainly enjoyed speaking to you. But I'm, Denise fixed it, it up nice. already. She says she's staying for another year and a half. I know. Before she said, "I'm out," and we're gonna check back on this relationship to see how it's doing. We're gonna check back, and by we, okay. I mean one of us. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, I hope that this talk don't get you in trouble. Do he listen to this shit? No, he don't. But All he right. get mad because during my pregnancy, I was listening to y'all podcast the whole time, and he was like, I swear I ain't going to think that Joe is his daddy. Yo, get this hater nigga out of here. <laughs> yo, get this hater nigga the fuck out of here, yo. A year and a half, you got bucko. <laughs> uh-huh. Denise, good luck. We appreciate you, and thank you for finally, finally uh, answering the phone. Lord. You were tough to get to. Man, I like traveling. Yo, y'all I went mean, on vacation together? No. He don't like to go nowhere. So, whoa, whoa, I, I love traveling. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, oh. no, hold on. <laughs> Tell me, hold, hold. So, so you went on vacation without him? On a plane? Yeah. A plane yeah. vacation, not a local that you could drive. I mean, I only went a state away, but I had a four-day weekend off. I told him he didn't want a to take a four-day away. weekend off because he wanted to be at work. Okay. okay. Fam. I like her style. I mean, yo, we go, we go check back with you. We go check September back with you, Denise. <laughs> go home to that king. No, yeah, yeah, it, okay. it's, it's imperative. <laughs> Goodbye. For, for the kid. Bye. Save this number. Tom Jim Killer. He gonna kick my ass. <laughs> yeah, he is. I was he joking. don't even. I was joking. I was joking. Mm-hmm. Just kidding around. JK, JK. 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 LMAO Meadows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, we got we got action. We got action. Hello? Hey Joe, what's up, man? Hey Steve. I'm I'm live on air, so don't say anything incriminating. I, I didn't want well, nothing. You, did you call me when you was live on air? Yeah, I called you because Ish Ice and Park said that you make too money to answer my too much money to answer my phone calls anymore. So I wanted to prove them wrong, but you didn't answer. So I was like, fuck "Oh it. fuck, yeah, man, yeah, that's yeah, like yeah. all yeah. these guys." I hate it. Let's I, fuck I, I, up hate, and take it that. <laughs> I hate when niggas do. It. Yo, they try to turn you. They try to turn niggas against each other. Yo, nah, they, that's black on black crime, man. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck is wrong with these niggas? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nasty. How you doing, man? Doing fantastic, man. I'm in New York. When you called me, I was in the middle of a meeting. And as soon as I got the meeting, I called you back like I'm supposed to. Just, see, I mean, that's see, that's thanks. Thanks. So come on, round of applause, man. Round of applause. That's what we said. Yeah, they tried to have me go right. write a diss track, man. <laughs> Yo, you in New York, you said? Yeah, I came to, I'm in New York today. I just left Miami. I came up here, had some meetings. Boom. I'm really disappointed in your in your team coming down on me like that. <laughs> <laughs> What do you guys have to say for yourself? I think we're picking you up. I, I wanna, yeah, yeah, we were saying you was busy. No, I wanted to know if the meetings was a couple hundred. No, nah, but you know, it's like a backhanded compliment. Like, nigga, you so rich, you forgot about niggas. I hate that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, nah, look, the top, the, the, your name came up because we were talking about Miami. Yeah. And Joe said every time he in Miami, he keep running into the rappers. And I was like, well, Steve told you you in the wrong part of Miami. You need to go to the real Miami. And I, and where I, he at. And I said, Steve has a hell of a whole lot more a, money. These are also do. facts. See? See? Steve, those are facts. But because I respect our relationship and the anonymity that comes with it. You know what, Joe? You know what this is telling me? You guys miss me. You want me up there again. I get it. 
Oh <laughs> man, Steve. See, we would love for you to come back, come back up here, man. I learned a lot last time you was here. You was helping me navigate through some turmoil, and I got through it. You learned what Ubers to use. I got through it. I'm on the other side, standing. I'd love nothing yeah, more your, than your, to see you. Your reception is terrible, by the way. Oh, yeah. Sorry, AT and T. It's fine. Can you hear me now? Yeah. I hear you perfectly. All right. I was saying I'd love nothing more than to have you up here. Last time you was here, I was down and out. I was feeling sad. You helped me navigate through some shit. I appreciate that, my brother. Yeah, you should come back. Listen, I think what you're doing is fantastic. I think the shit that you talk about is great, and I love it. I tell you, I'll be a regular. I don't give a fuck. I don't <laughs> care about over. There's no such thing as being overexposed. I love it. No, if I had a problem paying some of my old guys, then there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no way I could pay you, buddy. There's no way on earth. Yeah, last time I was with you, you had like some, uh, uh, you had, this how I knew I was broke. You had a watch flown in. Like the watch flew from London or some shit. Yeah, well, no, we were in the, by the way, that, when you said that story, it was really funny because I forgot about that. And we were sitting, <laughs> literally sitting in the club and a guy with a British accent comes in with the fucking jewelry. And I'm like, <laughs> you yeah, know, that's, that's true. That's the, but it doesn't change anything, Joe. I, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, I aspire, yo. One day. I'm, one day, yo. One day. See, and that's my fucking point. When you got friends like this or people yes. like this in your life, this shit should inspire you, Absolutely. yo. That's your motivation. Absolutely. Absolutely. How are you going to hate on the fancy fucking piece of jewelry flying in from London, meeting a nigga in the club no. at 1.30 in the morning? How are you going to hate on a nigga that came from potentially where you're from? That come from where from, you come from. That comes from where you from, yes. identifies with everything you identify with, and has reached this level of success. Because earlier, Steve, we was talking about just like relationships between, between men and sometimes when a dude just go off to pursue his own career path or his own fate, how that could come with resistance from like people that you fuck with, people that you love and care about. And then when you make that's, it, that, man, that's, that, man. Th that's always a big problem because it, you, I tell you this pr from personal experience, when I uh, started doing like going into the advertising shit, moving away from music, a lot of niggas stopped fucking with me and I got started giving me a bad reputation and I didn't understand exactly what I did wrong. But it really was pursuing my dreams or pursuing something different made people question themselves. So they just, rather than question themselves, they shit on me. Mm. Because they're shitting on me for reasons that made no sense. And then I started to get my flowers like 10 years later. Like, nice. damn, this nigga's dominating that shit or whatever. But in the beginning, it was ice cold. Like, nigga, you get the fuck out of here. Um, insecurity is a drug and drug that's deep, man. Mm. Mm. It's know? the biggest one. That shit is huge. Yeah, I know, but in hip hop, we we forced to be so macho, machismo, and tough, and can handle it all. That you know, niggas don't really show when they when they have a tough time dealing with something, or when they're insecure about something, or just you know, it's tough. It's just tough. That's it. Well, and 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 the truth of the matter is, at the core level, there's an overall lack of mentorship. So yes, you know, yes. everybody's running in pack. Um, it's not like you have, if you have mentors or OGs or whatever it may be, at least somebody could coach you up so that you don't have that kind of mentality. Um, but in hip hop, when you run in packs, anytime anybody does something different, then you automatically, the hate comes out because that's separation and we supposed to be running in the pack. Yep. Yeah. This guy always drops a few yeah, jewels, was, man. Yeah, right, this, yeah, guy, yeah. this guy's good. This guy's good. Steve, thank you. Have we appreciate you. All right, Joe. Always. Have, have a good one. Good. All right, take have it easy. Have a blast. Bro. That's dope. We all wolves running in the pack. And when you try to go elsewhere, we going now. Jump your dumb ass. Uh -huh. That's sick. That guy really is a wealth of information. Yes. He really he's is. Try. You don't and I was a part that. of but I was but he's right. I was a part. I was in hip hop when I remember. You we just shit on Steve. I remember that. I remember that. I remember that. So, they was calling them a culture vulture. They were saying all that all shit. All types huh? of shit. All types of shit. They were saying shit. all that shit. But remember. to stick around long enough and do some different things to where now they're speaking some different things on your name or your perseverance. Shit, I remember just even the time when It Was Written came out. Fam, no. He was a catalyst in you know crossing the hip-hop artists over to other 
Market to branding, to, to branding, <laughs> to markets, to transcending just our community. Right. He was influential in that. Hell yeah. Nah, he and was. the reason he gets his flowers later is because then they get to see Now it. they saw it. Now once they now see, they see it, your yeah. vision. They say, oh, yeah, shit. I see it now. But yep. when they don't see your vision, you, you, you some weirdo shit. shit. What the fuck is you doing? Fuck out of here. 200 million Absolutely. later. Now, now you, you understand, understand us. There you go. Yeah. Um, Even podcasting. I'm going to throw you a flower or two. Oh, I'm going to catch it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, dog. Even when you and Nori, because y'all was first, for the most part. Ice-T was first. I mean, but but on a bigger I scale. I know what you're saying. Right? Mm. And, and, and then Combat Jack. Combat Jack. Rest and in peace. Was, yeah, but I'm talking about I know what you're saying. that broke ground, right? You was running around niggas like, yo, this nigga look like a fool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now you see all these tough guys, quote unquote, yep. all got podcasts. You get what I'm saying? Like, yo, everybody follow suit once I see the success or once I see the vision. Mm-hmm. But initially, I didn't see that. And now everybody jumps jumps on the page. Ain't just the tough guys. It's literally everybody, everybody running to a podcast now. No, I agree. I'm just, I'm just saying. No, no, no. I'm just but in I, I say that because. And in, and in sports, that was, we got to keep the machismo. Mm-hmm. So you can't really have real conversations about your hurt or your mental health or your whatever. Now that's all that's saturating the market mm-hmm. is that men do cry. Yeah. Damn, look, you look at, he was being vulnerable as a rapper for years. It took, I want to say what, Kanye, Kid Cudi, Drake. Drake. Really Drake. Drake. When Drake popped because of that, now you got everybody putting their shit out on wax. So it's the same thing. Once they see the success in it, then they'll follow suit. That's it. Shout that's out to it, Steve. Sad. But yeah, shout no, shout out to the that's the reality. Shout yeah, out all to of them. Steve. I'm still in that. Um, is there anything else that we need to get to that we're forgetting about? I don't believe so. Not nah, real. I'm pretty cool. We have to go. I am pretty cool. Yo, game, I love you, man. I know you're gonna catch some flack when this interview comes out. I know you are, if I'm just listening to ice and shit. But, nah, but, but I think it's important do to that. cover cover niggas in love. Even in times where you know they're about to get killed. But we not we me and Parks were saying that we were not saying it to be like I know, negative towards I know, him. I know you weren't. The problem we with fuck that fuck with him. I know you do. I oh, know okay. you do. I know Parks does. The mm-hmm. problem with that is we don't dic- we don't get to dictate our the impact of our words when somebody else is going through something. It ain't even that, bro. Like when they don't like you, it don't matter what you do. Like game ain't the most liked. Let's be real. So no oh, matter oh, what get happens, to, get to the back of the line. Don't skip that. Don't skip the line of being not being well liked. But I'm just saying. I'm so you saying he's gonna get killed for this? Don't matter. No, you, I no. I, well, yeah, I'm saying that. But I started with y'all. I just love you. Like even if you don't get killed, I think it's important in this week to to say yo, I love you and I hope you're good. Hey yo, you a bad boy. Oh, <laughs> uh, and just that fast, we have found her. Less than seven thousand followers. <laughs> Oh, and she be doing laundry? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Alex, you good, boy. How you found us so fast, man? That's funny. We joking around. Keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Until the next time, I bid you adieu. Farewell. Adios. Arrivederci. Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista. Au revoir. <laughs> Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir and all that good stuff. Remember, life is a series of moments and moments pass, so let's make this one last as if it's all we have. Or we ain't got to make it last. We can dead that shit. Just let me know. (laughs) It's okay. Last but not least, the baddies are insecure, the stagnant women want to travel, and the closed-minded women want you to teach them things. Grab a Tylenol, you'll have a migraine soon. Hey. Y'all hold it down out there, same time, same place next week. Bye. 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 Bye.